<laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you just saw how out, out of an order, how out of order is written. That's it. You just saw how it, out of order comes to be. If you don't do that skit and make it a commercial like that, you should shut down the whole operation. It's another edition of KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network brought to you by... I'll give you one guess what's inside of here. I'll give you one guess what's inside of this baby right here. <laughs> it's a cheetah. Cheetah! It's a cheetah, cheetah, cheetah. It's a cheetah. Oh, look at that. Look at that goodness. I love how they just peel apart just like a regular slice of pizza. It's it's a little uh, a little chicken parm mixed with a little bit of pizza. You it's, got some pepperoni on top and you got yourself a cheetah. They're very, very delicious. Mm-hmm. They are, they. Are, I mean, again, I can't, I can't, I can't speak to it enough. It is a delicious pizza. It's chicken. It's melted cheese. It's pepperoni. It's shaped like a pizza. It's, <laughs> it's everything you need in this what, world. What do you think a pizza is? It's a it's exactly like, like close delicious. your eyes. Pizza. That's what it is. And there's something too. You could have if I if I told you, here's chicken parm with pepperoni. You might be like, what? I don't want to do that. If I told you, here's a pizza. And you're like, what's the cheese? It's like chicken parm. It looks like pizza. You get the cheese. But running back, oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's all about the marketing. And KFC has figured it out. So the cheese is available at all KFCs right now. Uh, You can get it as a little side. You can get it as your entree. You can get a morning. We get them at like 1030 in the morning as soon as KFC opens. (laughs) We're eating them uh, all day, all night. Uh, Limited time only, so make sure you get them while you can. Uh, and I keep getting DMs from people being like, this, the marketing's working. Like, every time I see a, pe- well, a picture well, of people Well, it should eating. be, Kevin, because I, 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 like, saw an image of I mean, our studio the other day. Have we not sold We're out? We're just like, doing it in like, – I, 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 I hadn't – I think it was the – I was throw, watching Throw the this. gigantic <laughs> – throw it at me. This is, this is my favorite part of all, this gigantic – Gantic. This isn't subliminal marketing. This is we're taking a mallet and beating you this over is, the head with this it. This is guerrilla marketing, but like with a gorilla <laughs> that just runs in and and smashes you over the head with it. It is. I think it was the clip when Jackie was telling the story with the homeless guy, and I like I watched the clip. And I never did. And I was I was looking. I was just going, hmm, huh? A lot of KFC stuff. There. <laughs> I don't even know why. Why is there a KFC football helmet? I don't even know what that is. But hey, we got one. Welcome to KFC on KFC. Order KFC's new pizza at a participating KFC location today. Um, all right, we got we got a big episode today. Uh, I got a big weekend. We got a lot going on in the barstool world. You know, we got to go into the deep dark depths of John's brain. Um, let's. I had a nice weekend. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I watched Roadhouse. It was. Oh, I can't even imagine how good that was for you. Me, Bob Fox, and and Ken Jack were just sitting around, just like reciting lines from it. It's fantastic. (laughs) It's it's uh, it gives me hope between Roadhouse and Reacher, both Prime products. Mm -hmm. Prime knows what they're doing. I think the company that has the most of our data seems to be going towards making things where a character, his whole thing is. He's just huge. <laughs> that, that, that is my genre, That's baby. It. Like, yep. what's that guy like? I don't know. He's just fucking mad. big. He just. What's the deal with him? He's bigger than average Dude, humans. McGregor, Gyllenhaal, and and I, I forget the Reacher guy's name. They're just they're just massive. Well, dudes. Reacher is supposed to be massive, right? That's why. Yeah, his there was character. that weird thing in the other one where he wasn't that big. Now the new, the, right? Well, he like he's not in Reacher. He's not as big. At, like. As it's like comical how like I mean that guy Alan Richmond is his name. Yep. Alan Richmond is big, but like he'll be like, "Can I get a T-shirt?" Like I don't think we have any tents around. <laughs> it's like well, he's it's a regular human. He's a, yeah. Yeah, he's a human. Uh, Roadhouse, demon. Gyllenhaal, and and McC- uh, McGregor are not regular humans. They're freaks. Yeah, they're freaks. They're, I mean, you got to be on steroids, right? Bro, the, but there's like, no way these guys are natural. It's also, <laughs> I mean, come on, come on. Uh, that's also a picture, right? So like maybe not, but those guys are for sure not natty. Come on. It's been so funny having the like defense, like people are like, oh, leave the leave the original alone. Oh yeah, like that that you know brilliant masterpiece. Bro, it's just thirty five percent Rotten Tomatoes, and then mm-hmm. people are doing it again now with Happy Gilmore. Like, they're just fucking goofy movies. Like, you could just make... Are they remaking Happy Gilmore? They're making a second. And, like, Sandler... It's Sandler. Oh, well, it's then like, that's fine. Yeah. I thought... It, I thought it, it's, they're trying to, like, remake it without him. No, they're... <laughs> that's Sandler. huge news. I didn't know that. Yeah. And, but, like, I, I, I can't stand people who get mad about sequels. Just... Who cares? If it's bad, who cares? The first one's still awesome. Listen. They don't, the, it doesn't the, matter. The definitive... Like, you shouldn't worry about that is Michael Jordan. The human. 
Like if Michael Jordan could do what he did with the Wizards and baseball <laughs> oh, and yeah. fuck, fuck that all up and nobody cares. It's the same thing with movies. All Any movie that you liked that goes one too far or put out a sequel, like it doesn't matter. The original movie is still awesome. Yeah. And what if the second one or the third one or the fifth or the tenth was awesome? Then you'd have more movies that are awesome. And if you don't, it's just an extra <laughs> that you don't ever have to watch again. I, I have no problem whatsoever with Now, I will say that some things, like, you should do it the right way. Like, if they did Adam Sandler without Adam, uh, Happy Gilmore without Adam Sandler, I would think that's stupid. Yeah. And, and, and I think when you're Dumb trying and Dumber to... without, when they didn't have Jeff Daniels and, and Jim Carrey, that was stupid. But when they did it, I thought it was a good idea. I think that also sucked, but whatever. They tried it. And yeah. Trying to recapture to an old movie is dumb. Yeah. But if you're just doing an old movie in the modern time... Like, like, like the world that Roadhouse was made in doesn't exist anymore. So now you're making for one for this world. Yes, yes, and, correct. and it was it plays. It's correct. goofy and it's fucking it's over the top, over the and top, and literally, and like, yeah. Over like the dudes top. get eaten by alligators, and McGregor comes in fucking naked, and he's like. All the lines are so dumb. It's awesome. Buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna need more than tree sandwiches. <laughs> I thought McGregor had like a bit role. He's like in it, in it. Oh, yeah, he's the villain. He's a villain, right? Yeah, yeah he's that's like, that's like maybe not quite the villain. He's the villain's heavy. He's the muscle. Yeah. Uh, kind of fucked up. They they're doing Happy Gilmore too, right after Carl Weathers dies. Yeah. Maybe that's what they were waiting for. <laughs> maybe Adam Sandler has beef with Carl Weathers. Uh, yeah. I mean, these things are awesome. This is what. And you know what? The fact that the company with the most information is going that way, I don't want to hear it from people when they're like, oh, like John watches the worst movies. Because the company that knows the most about the human race is like, here's it's what like, we're going to make. You know what they want? They want jack dudes saying dumb lines and yeah. fucking each other up. Like, yeah. Hell yeah, brother! Bro, are there any females in these movies? Uh, no. Barely. Like, there's not even like a love like, interest, right? It's like, I, let's just like, fucking whatever. Very barely. Yeah. I'm very. disgusted at the idea of a girl movie. <laughs> like, uh, no, it's really muscular guys wrestling. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, you really, we really just need to cut chicks out of all these dude, things there, in general. Dude, just make it about the fellas. They're fighting. He slams Hall's head into the piano, and, and Gyllenhaal goes, sounds like the piano's out of tune. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> we're going to go, sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's, it's so good. I watched, uh, I just watched... I don't know, probably a dozen hours of uh, material about children being raped. Mm. What? That Nickelodeon shit, man. Oh, God. There's four episodes. <laughs> no, it's not a dozen. It's probably like an hour each, so it's probably four or five hours. That that shit had me yelling at the television. Really? I was like, whoa, what? How is this happening? What are we doing here? I mean, I was screaming at the TV. And that guy is such a fat piece of shit slob. It's like straight out of Central Casting. Yeah, he like is. if you were to be like, let's get the creepy guy. Now, what kind of sucks though? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little something here. I'm gonna defend Dan Schneider. Hell real quick. yeah, <laughs> Dan Schneider is for sure a sexual pervert and deviant. He did weird things like making all the actresses who were like young teens do weird sexual stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Feet stuff. They would like. Like, the prank, the gag on set would be, like, them getting squirted in the face with stuff. Ariana Grande laying over a bed with her head over it, which is, like, there's only one time in in all of human behavior. There's only one time that somebody lays on the bed Bro, with their head over the side. you're a real pervert if you were thinking of that kind of shit 20 years ago. Right? He was ahead of his time. <laughs> yes, that. Ariana Grande ha- I, laying. I didn't see that move until the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> when people got bored, they started doing fucking Weird. Cirque du Soleil. Ariana Grande, I, I still don't know what the, the clip is. Out of context, she just lays on her bed, puts the head over, and goes, oh, I'm so thirsty. Oh, and it's Jesus. just, like, all over her neck and chest and shit. I was like... And then there's one where she's squeezing a potato and she's like, I want the juice from the potato. All of that totally fucked up. Then what happened was they hired actual pedophiles. Okay? Who like were for tax benefits? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, three actual pedophiles who either were already or went on to be convicted of like actual they are sexual assault. Pedophiles? So like, but now what's happening 
is I think people think that guy fucked the kids. <laughs> and he didn't fuck the kids. <laughs> the other guy fucked the kids. Wait, so they hired, like, convicted pedophiles. Uh, so there was a guy on the set of all of these shows who got straight up convicted of sexual assault with kids. He got 16 months in jail and then went and wrote for The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody after. Jimmy, Christmas. Like, shit like that that I was screaming at the television. Being, And then this poor guy, Drake Bell. Drake Bell? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was the one. He got assaulted and molested like full blown by this guy and he showed up to court and there was like dozens of hollywood stars uh, defending this guy writing letters and like at the courtroom like defending the the, the, the rapist. pedophile yeah Jesus. like james marsden uh, uh uh sean and and cory uh sean and eric from boy meets world uh, all these names, uh, uh, there's a, a bunch of female actresses that I noticed. They put them all in the documentary that all wrote, like, this was a one-time thing. This is so out of character. There must have been one-time extreme thing. temptation for something like this to happen. Extreme temptation? Like, we're blaming. Well, what, what, like, was, what was Ariana Grande wearing? Right. Uh, honestly, that's basically <laughs> like, what they extreme were saying. Extreme temptation is an insane thing. Insane. <laughs> and, and he was like, yeah, I was there. I was in the courtroom. It was me, my mom, and my brother. Like, being like, I got raped. And on the other side was just, like, all of Hollywood being like, nah, come on. <laughs> and he said, like, in his speech, he stood up and he was just like, I hope that you guys, like, had this memory for the rest of your life when you guys were standing here, like, defending this pedophile. And the memory I'll always have for the rest of my life is, like, being assaulted by him. And I was like, whoa. Like, fucking gangster. But, like, none of that came out till now. Now these people are getting absolutely flamed, and rightfully so. Uh, but, but... But it's not that dude. That dude is an equally like a different type of scumbag. But they just there's just so many of them. It's like wait, who who Char- fucked who? Character witnesses never make sense to me. It's, a, it, like, it's like, yeah, he didn't. You're not a little boy. Yeah, he, he wasn't didn't an asshole you. to me. What is that like? I, I I I'm sure they are helpful in in like. I think if it's like a white collar crime, if there's like a, uh, self defense or like there's just situations where it's like. This situation is really fucked up, but he is a good person. She's a good person outside of this. But it's like they're not a good person because they fucked a child. Yeah. They didn't rape me, but I guess I'm not his type. So like, that's not a character witness, so to speak. Bro, uh, Ryder Strong, uh, Sean Hunter from Boy yeah, yeah. World. His, there was a quote from him saying, we knew that he did something, but we didn't know the extent of it all. And we were just fed this story of – it was like, quote – I'm a victim of like jailbait. Like there was like this young boy, and I didn't. He said victim of jailbait in his defense, and but that probably was a defense like 20 years ago. I guess so. I guess fucking so. That's fucking. I I don't know about I don't know about a legal defense, but in the public eye, there really there's a lot of shit when you watch it that you're like, what were we doing? (laughs) What were we doing as a society? It was uh, it was it's some harrowing shit, and like all these kids were like. There's just footage of them like on set, and he's like getting massaged by people. I saw a video of him. This this was a video where like touching people all the like, time. It should have been you arrest him on the spot, and it was he was in a hot tub with Amanda Bynes. Yes, he was fully clothed. Clothed, yes, like bu- <laughs> like button down well, shirt. I think on. He had a, yeah. yeah, I think he had literally like a like a, a like, plaid polo, a plaid like, button up on. Like, yep. like if someone gets in a hot tub with a child. Fully clothed. Look at that. He's got, he's got a t-shirt yeah, and a button-up on <laughs> over it. Send him to prison, dude. Send him to prison. They were sending dick pics to these girls. They were they were making them suck each other's toes in the show. It was like, ha ah, ha like laugh track while like these girls were sucking toes. Mm. It was absolute madness. Like, as a society, it was like, what? But it was literally every, every... Every Nickelodeon show you've ever heard of, this guy was like the executive producer, the head of it. Uh-huh. So they were like, it was their golden era because this fucking fat creep. And so they just like kept it rolling. And then as soon as that girl last year put out her book, Jeanette McCurdy, she put out a book and she said he was no longer allowed to be on the set. He was in a separate room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When that came out, like a month later, he was gone. And they just said like, you know, they, they had a mutual parting of ways. Fucking crazy though that that the shit about the, the the letters was like we sh- we as a society should be making a bigger deal about that. It was just everybody famous defending a convicted like they did the case and they were like yes 
he fucked and touched these kids. And all of Hollywood was like, but come on. But come on. <laughs> nah. Did you see the sweet life of Zach and Cody? Come on. Nah. <laughs> I never saw any of it. I don't Brian know Peck was his name. He's the real fucking creep. I mean, I, I obviously I know the shows, but I never saw. I'm a little uh, too the, old the, Yeah, the the the. I'm a little past, like the I Carly and Zoe 101 and all that shit. I don't know. The, any of those, the, but I, I don't. They were all I, pretty girls and young boys, and then it was just. I I I'm not a true crime person, so like I I've never really done these things. But this one in particular, I don't get. Like I don't like talking about this. And why, like, like, why are we watching it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I kind of regret watching like, it. Yeah, I don't. Like, I, I, hear I wanted. It. I wanted to watch Roadhouse and instead I was watching this, <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, I wish I watched Roadhouse. Like, like the. I wish I but in, but like, I, even when you say like, you, you saying like they're sucking each other's toes, I'm like, oh. I, don't, I know, like, I know. But also, it's like we should be uncomfortable because these kids are getting fucked. But like, I believe it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to. I, don't but like, need, I, like, I think there needs to be like public outrage for anything to change because these fucks are just we're just making money and they're just like, we don't care. Just like get another one. But you know what? They're making money again now. Yeah. They're making money on this. Yeah. Like. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The, it's insane. He got he got like Nickelodeon. He was on Nickelodeon, got convicted and Disney picked him up like a free agent. That's Fucking. It's like what we did with the Nazis for NASA. Yeah, that's a great. Actually, that's a great call. We can't really, we can't really say shit now, can we? Like, listen, we know you killed all those Jews, but what do you know about rockets? Can you get us to the moon? Because we got these other guys in Russia we don't like. That was. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Bunch of really smart free agents. Can't, like, can't promise not to fucking, fucking kill uh, Nickelodeon pick them up or Snick or whatever yeah, the other yeah, one is. Yeah, we we got. Yeah, it's like signing them just so that the rest of the other team in the division doesn't get them. I mean, this guy knows a lot about kids. Crazy. You can't, can't let him fall into the hands of a competitor. I really think, and I, I, I was trying to, I was trying to think through this, because it, off the, off the, the top, it sounds a little too harsh. But I think maybe I'll just leave it as is. If you are a man, you cannot work with children. Period. <laughs> I think that should just be period. I was trying to figure out, like, well, no, like if you're a gym teacher, it's okay, but like also probably not, and like. What if you had a kid and they are like you coach them and then your kid gets older and you continue co- and I'm just like nope let's just avoid the whole thing it's all for women no men no men in any situation only women can child rear <laughs> yep pretty much i think that's the only way to really like yeah Put it this way. Put it this way. Takes takes a brave man. <laughs> don't want me near kids. <laughs> Anyone who looks like me, I don't want to hold them near. Think kids. about this. <laughs> if you just said tomorrow, no men of any type can ever work with children again. For every one good male teacher, where you're like, wow, we missed out on a good, a good, uh, you know, a, a good influence. There's like 20 guys who are fucking yeah. kids. So I, I'll take the trade off. We should just announce it. Like it's new law, and anyone who gets really worked up about it, we arrest them. Yeah, yeah, that, that's how we capture. <laughs> that it. was a canary in the coal mine, brother. <laughs> you fell for it. That's 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 great. Um, so yeah, highly different um, entertainment weekends for you and I. <laughs> Dude, it actually is funny. It kind of reminds. I was talking to my my parents yesterday. It was it was such a like call of like me seeing myself and my dad. Uh-huh. But like I call my mom and they're they're on their way to some concert in Boston and my mom's explaining. That's great that your dad your parents still do that kind of shit. It really is. <laughs> they were they're still living life. My parents are just waiting to die. <laughs> For straight up, they're just waiting to die. But my mom's explaining to me how it's this uh folk band that like is a spawn of this folk band that won Grammys in their no early 2000s. Way. And so your uh, parents are, are going to like I figured they're going to like uh, Billy Joel's up in town or some shit. Like, no, no, no. They're going to like new music that like they found and yeah. like. Good for them. Carolina and the Chocolate Drops is the band that wow. uh, I listened to a little bit of this morning. But anyway, my mom's telling me to call this stuff about it. And they're from Durham, North Carolina, and blah, blah, blah. And I think they've been pumping gas. <laughs> so like something happened in the car where it kicked into Bluetooth. And and I just hear my dad go, what's up, John Boy? And I was like, hey, dad, how's it going? <laughs> And my mom had just explained all this detail. And then he goes, had to a concert, got a box of chocolates, decadent. <laughs> and I was like, hell, hell yeah, yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, it That's was all like, you need to say. The, like, had to a concert, got a bunch of chocolate, 
Feeling good. I was like, yeah, dude. I fucking know exactly Life what you're simple. talking about right Life now. Life is not that complicated, man. <laughs> Decadent. So good. They got candy? They got beer? <laughs> Well, check it out. It does not take much. It does not take much. It was actually the uh, earlier in the weekend. My dad, uh, my dad was um, at this uh, cannabis convention, and he was staying. My grandfather lives in Boston, so oh, he was your staying. parents kick ass. <laughs> but he, my dad, my dad sells insurance. If you're a uh, cannabis company looking for insurance, you call my dad. He'll take care of you. And, it's a good business to get it. Yeah, but he does. So there's like some cannabis convention in Boston, and and he was there, and he was staying because it was in Boston. He was staying with his father, and um, I was like just like laughing at the idea. So I, I talked to him Saturday, and I was like, "What'd you do last night?" He's like, "Oh, we had this big dinner, like sixty people." And I was like, "Cool, cool." He's like, "Yeah." Then we went to Royale, which is like a club in Boston. Yeah, that's like the club in that, Boston, like, right? I don't even think I've ever been. To. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, I'm aware of it. I don't think I maybe once yeah. or twice I've been to Royale, but even in my heyday, I wasn't frequenting Royale. And it's been around for a while. Yeah, I think that was where we did KFC Radio post post game. Definitely, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah. The, the, the last KFC Radio with Dan. And, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. first Wilbur. I think we went to Royale. That, we had like a table and all that shit. Yeah. That would make sense. That's hilarious that your pops is there <laughs> twenty <laughs> years later. Dude, so he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I went to Royale. Little John was there. Little <laughs> John, because he's got some song named "Shots." He just, just says "Shots" a bunch of times. <laughs> I was like, I know the song, dude, but I was just picturing afterwards him. Being a sixty-year-old man, and just like basically like reverting back to his childhood, where he was at a, he was out smoking weed all day, yep. and then went to the club, <laughs> and then had to sneak back into his dad's house like after midnight so he could wake him up. I was like, <laughs> like, I was like that's crazy that so, you're just so like, like like the cannabis company like took him like they or like he he I think did that on his was own. His, the dinner was his. I don't know what the post game was. I don't know like he like, he put together like the dinner. And then I guess they went out afterwards. Hilarious. And uh, Gangster shit. Your dad's John. just getting high and going to see Little John. <laughs> yeah. What is this, like me in 2003? Like this, that sounds awesome. That's great. Good for him, man. That's He's still living life. <laughs> I mean, he's only, he's young. He's 60. Yeah. <coughs> 61, maybe. Yeah, he's still got, and he's, and he's like, you know, he's a, he's a young 61 because he's mm. in good shape and shit. So he's still ready to rip it. I I I uh I had a, a breakdown of sorts this weekend and I texted you about it. March Madness, something that used to bring me so much joy, now brings me so much pain. <laughs> so much pain. I I didn't watch a single second of March Madness this year so far. And it's not that's not the problem. The problem is that I it doesn't even bother me. I mean, it's bothering me. Yeah. But yeah. in the moment, I was like, I don't really care. I shouldn't say I didn't watch a single second. I watched our game, and then I watched uh, who was it after that? I watched one other game after that, and I was sitting there, and I was like, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> That's the problem. Mar March Madness has. I I did like. I basically it's actually kind of a nice setup I had where I like I would follow along on Twitter, and when games got close, I turned them on because I don't think there were a ton of close games. Yeah, I, 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 I know early on there was a bunch of blowouts. Like I, I, that, that Oakland, I watched both Golki games. That was. Yeah, he's electric. Yeah. I don't. I don't get why can't they get him more shots? Like in that in that game against Just Duke, face no. guarding. I was gonna say at that, yeah. that that's kind of the problem with college hoops, right? Is that like yeah, if, if you're gonna come off screens and he's not fast enough to get open like Steph Curry, yeah. so it's it really it was actually really funny watching him. And I was, Try to do it. Like, I was like, I was like, he he would sprint like once, and I, I I'm not that I'm used to because I don't do it with any regularity, but like. You know, I've seen videos of them following Steph, and he's yeah, just, he just he's full getting... sprinting the entire time. <laughs> yeah, go because like, I got one burst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm get open on this three Dude, second that, run. That, that shot chart of his season <laughs> is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Yeah, it was I awesome. mean, I, I I was like, this must be, this is not what I think it is. It's like, nope, it is. It's like <laughs> he, he shot seven two pointers and one other two that you know he wanted to be a three because it was like right on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> like seven actual twos the whole fucking season is. Is I mean that's crazy, <laughs> crazy town. He's the man, but like it, it's something. Thursday and Friday used to be the two my two most favorite days of the year. We would either cut work, call out of work, go to lunch during work, uh, 
and then go out all day and night, watch all the games, brackets and pools and just drinking and partying and mix it up with with uh, St. Patrick's Day. And we had a bunch of birthdays in March and everything. And it was, it was the best. It was the absolute greatest. And then it started to like I, – I feel like when you don't gamble and you don't have a good alma mater, alma mater you just naturally – every year kind of like lose a little bit, you know? Yeah. But there would be years like when I first had kids, I was like, fuck, I can't watch March Madness this year because this year I got to take care of my kids, you know? Or I got to do this or that. I got to go to work and then the babies. And, blah, blah, blah. and But now I'm at a point where I was like, I, I, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know anything about college basketball and I didn't watch it and it's, it just is what it is. That's the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's not even, it's not even when you're, when you're like, oh, I wish I could, but I can't. It's like uh, I don't know. I just don't even watch it anymore. The it's crazy. It's like being like it's it's like if all of a sudden you know you just I mean I guess this happens too. I was gonna say Christmas. It's like Christmas doesn't. It's not Christmas isn't fun anymore either. I like Christmas. I, I'm a, I like I'm gonna stand for I, Christmas. I, I, I like I I actually I'm I'm the wrong person to be saying this. But as you get older and when you have kids and you're worrying about Christmas more than enjoying Christmas, yeah, that also becomes a thing where you're like, fuck, it's Christmas. You know? <laughs> uh, but. I, it's just like uh, that. That part of me is dead. That part of me is fucking dead. It. I. I think. I still get excited. Like. Like. I. I enjoyed the amount I watched, but I also like. I watched last night. I watched James Madison Duke, Ugh. and that was like. That's a game you know. I yeah. feel like those games happen a lot more, more. than you remember. Yes. Right. Like, you remember like the you, buzzer beaters you, and the yeah. upsets, and, and then, then like, there's oh, yeah, just this the is a thirty thumpings. point game that was never close for a second. Yeah. yeah. The, which actually I think is. Uh, a sign of maturity or old age is that I'm excited that there weren't that any really like there's no Cinderella's because next week there's going to be good games. Yeah. I, yeah. I invest in my future. <laughs> <laughs> that like, is the thing. When... Like, I want a 13 over four. I want... like, yeah. Now it's like, Oh no, no, we're going to get a couple blue bloods playing nice. When, <laughs> when the, uh, when like the elite eight is like two double digit teams, it's like, ah, right, this sucks. Yeah. 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 This <laughs> fucking blows. Uh, I mean, I never for one second, did I ever think we would win anything in the Dave and Buster's Buster br- b- Bracket Busters? See, just... despite the fact that we never win, you thought you thought <laughs> it never. Like I was like, we got our we got Akron. I, I, I was like, it never crossed my mind we were gonna win. <laughs> like, pretend, like the first game, I thought it was a no brainer. We, we had that. Game. <laughs> we're in. Like I didn't know if we were gonna get out of the weekend. Sixteen, maybe, but but I was like, oh, we're gonna fucking smoke. <laughs> great. great. We give a shit great. about that. Fucking like, work <laughs> their <laughs> shit. The like, zips got zapped. Dude, I, they were fucking done, dude. Were, the, even the first half, I was like, "This is even close." <laughs> <laughs> no, second, I knew. Half, I sorry, knew I was like, Pass, from what happens. <laughs> I mean, I just knew for, for my whole life. Like even before we drafted, I was like, "We're not going to win this." We, <laughs> we never do. By the way, Dave keeps saying forty k, forty cash, forty k cash. It's not, it's not forty k cash. It's like five grand. grand. We're, we're it's like looking, five grand. We were all looking at maybe five grand. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing to get worked on. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I, yeah, I really, cause I, I'm very, uh, like I don't, I'm, I don't fake, I don't force things. Like, like if I, if I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't want to watch it. I'd rather like play this video game or watch this, or I got to go take care of that. Like, I'm not gonna like force myself to watch the game. You yeah. Know? So, it's the point you reach where you have to force yourself to like something that you once liked naturally. That sucks. Yes. Because and and you know what maybe I should force myself to do it. But I don't I'll think sit you need down. to force yourself. I think you you moved on to other things. I guess so, but it's not. But the, the other things are not bringing me as much joy as what <laughs> college basketball used to bring. It's you know what it is. It's just I don't want to just sit there like at home by myself and watch it. But I don't want to be at a bar for like twelve hours anymore. So it's yeah. like I'm stuck in this no man's land where it used to be. I didn't really care about the basketball. It was just like the excuse to party with a little bit of like oh a buzzer beater. I don't know. I, I actually know. have the the kind of uh, opposite where like I like just having it on, like I'm not paying super close attention. Yeah, but, but it's, 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 it's kind of it's something because a lot of times I want to watch movies at night, the day, and then during are, the day I'm kind of like I don't really know what to put on, mm-hmm. and true. it's kind of nice to just have. And then you on. can follow along. Yeah, because if you're not watching, I'm like I don't you know I I hop onto Barstool Twitter and I'm like wait what's this what happened I don't know what, what's going on, um, I mean that's. When I when I tuned in and saw Dukes crying, <laughs> Dude, bro, Dukes, I, Dukes going the mountain on himself. 
<laughs> like, yes. he, had, Full, he had two knuckles into his skull. I mean, we, we have a real problem with this company. We have a legitimate problem. <laughs> of crying? We can't. Like, we we, 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 we got to clean crying. up, guys. Like, like the amount of crying is out of control. It, it's a, every, I feel like every week we have Dude, someone he was with a sobbing. memorable sort of cry. He was sobbing. <laughs> we were there hugging him and shit. And patting someone, his back. He's still just mouthing. They're like, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, when, you, when your mouth... <laughs> when you're doing like a like your your mouth is turned upside down and you're like <laughs> bro it was the 7 10 week one and, uh, game one i the the only thing more ridiculous than that the amount of people defending it was pretty crazy really a lot not a lot there was still a lot of people just like holy shit you're a fucking weirdo dudes but a <laughs> lot of people were like dude it was a 24 to 4 run to end it it's like I don't fucking care. <laughs> that means you just like escaped. Uh, uh, like, thank God you almost got blown out and you didn't. <sighs> like, on to the next round. That's your only reaction there. Yeah. Not crying. I texted him. I said, What happens today if you win? What are you going to do now? <laughs> it's like you can't give out a 10.0 in the Olympics because what if someone comes along and dazzles you? What happens when you win your second round game? That's more important than the last one. He goes, oh, no, you don't get it, man. <laughs> he goes, no, I said, are you going to cry? He goes, no, no crying today. No crying today. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he was also shit-faced. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, like, yeah. I've heard him talk about this reason and that reason. No one's also saying, you know, I probably had a dozen beers in me by this point. <laughs> um, so that played a role. He was, and I mean, Dayton's been in the in the tournament like a million times. Yeah, he his defense was 2020. They were the one seed and then COVID hit. And that, that was their year. That was, okay. Like, <laughs> fine. But, like, whatever, dude. <laughs> what, I couldn't Dave cry. was a one seed in 2020? Obi's hopping, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Believe, Ain't no yeah. stopping Obi's hopping. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I remember Remember when he got drafted and, and, and Dukes was like, we're, we're best friends, man, or something like that. Yeah. It's like, they, like, never met. Yeah. <laughs> That that could not have been like we if if one end of the spectrum is Dukes I was the I was on the other end of the spectrum of life and and basketball. I uh, watched this a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, okay. I couldn't stop watching. I mean, I thought I was like he's not like he's just like emotional, but he's not crying. Right, he's crying. <laughs> oh man, it's great. I I I didn't watch one second of basketball. I. uh I had myself like the most dad weekend ever. I had the uh, father father daughter dance, which is oh, what I yeah. which is what I've started calling it because it's called the daddy daughter dance, <laughs> and I you just can't say that. Anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you just like I I don't think that the rest of the world has caught on. So I'm I'm here to tell you schools, and I actually think we're like one of the last schools alive to do it because it's you know sexist and gender and all that shit, but. If you are doing it, you can't say daddy daughter dance anymore. <laughs> Don't make the posters. I didn't know it was ever called daddy daughter. I thought it was father daughter all the time. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe in certain places, but I there's a lot of daddy daughter being thrown around. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Weird websites do that. Not, not. <laughs> uh, and I got suckered into uh, getting a limo for this thing. My daughter played me like a fucking fiddle. She was like. Hey, Dad, last year, these other two girls who were like her best friends, they took a limo. Can we take a limo? Can, like, can we do that? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, I'll talk to them and I'll, we'll jump in with them. And then it turns out that one of the girls is not going this year because her dad is, is not is traveling for work. So now all of a sudden I promised her, I said yes, and there's only two people. So I can't get you girls a limo for two people. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so then I had to... I was all of a sudden the ringleader. Oh, and then I, I called the other guy, and he was like, yeah, the dude who organized it last year is traveling. So, like, you want to do it? And I was like, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess so. So now I'm in charge of, of planning this uh, limo to this dance for a bunch of ch little babies, basically, <laughs> in my mind. So I end up inviting, like, uh, the – like local people from the neighborhood and we get a sprinter van to go literally seven minutes. <laughs> I had to tell the guy to just drive around in circles so the girls could like have fun <laughs> in the van. Cause I was like, otherwise I'm just paying a thousand dollars for you to drive like down the block. <laughs> it's like, I can like see the venue from here. So I have to do that. I, I organized that whole thing, which is already ridiculous, but it was cool. I, I grabbed a bunch of beers. And we, the guys were just drinking. It was funny watching dudes 
it, the, the girls were like climbing on the fucking van and like no one was sitting down forget about seatbelts and shit and the dads were just like sitting in the back like I don't know whatever <laughs> <laughs> I had to be the one like girls like I was like I, my name's on this shit sit down yeah, be careful yeah. <laughs> the rest of the guys were like what's happening up there or whatever <laughs> um, but bro we get to this dance I've never seen anything like it it was I thought I was watching the Nickelodeon fucking the Nickelodeon <laughs> thing the DJ I could not believe he did this first off we start with this game He's like, we're going to play a game now. It's called Heads or Tails. We're going to flip a coin. But everybody in the audience, you have to decide if you're heads or tails. So if you want to be heads, you put your hands on your head. If you want to be tails, you put your hands on your butt. <laughs> so a bunch of little girls go first. They're like the, gir- like the, the girls go first and the dads are on the sidelines. And the girls range from like f- fucking kindergarten to like probably, I don't know if like the eighth grade girls go, but like it could be up to yeah. eighth grade. I think that's weird, right? To be like, all right, like put your hands on your head or put your hands on your butt, girls. And then he'd be like, it's it's heads. Like if you were tails, you're out. And they they narrow it down to one winner. And then he's like, okay, dads, it's your turn. Put your hands on your head or put your hands on your butt. And I was like, <laughs> I'm looking around at these fucking dudes putting their hands on their butt. I'm like, what are you guys? I expected the whole room to be like, I just keep doing heads. Like, I'm not putting my hands on my butt. And so that was weird enough. Then he's like, now we're going to have a dance contest. And he's like, I'm going to pick out the best dancers. And he tells these girls to start dancing. And he starts walking through the dance floor <laughs> looking at little girls dancing like being like hmm okay you like over there like like calling them out i literally i, I pulled shay like over to the side i was i was dancing with her i was like stay away from that <laughs> lines up he like he had four finalists he's like all right these are the four best dancers we're gonna we're gonna each give them like another 10 seconds to dance and we're gonna figure out the the, the dance no, who's the best dancer they dance he goes all right bye we're going to do this by round of applause. Who thinks it should be this girl? And the crowd, like, cheers. Gets to the second girl. Who thinks it should be this girl? Nobody cheers. <laughs> and the DJ goes, oh, <laughs> like that. He goes, oh, Jesus. Next girl, people cheer. Fourth girl, people cheer. So, like, this one girl, just nobody cheered for her. And this motherfucker goes, I couldn't really tell. Let's do it again. Goes to the front. The girls cheer. Second girl again. Nobody cheers except for me because I was like, I'm going to scream my head off for this girl. Me and then was some like waitress was like, yeah, yeah. And again, the guy goes, oh, into the microphone. Oh, like this bitch is getting no votes. Oh, I, I was like, if that was my daughter, I would literally run over and fucking snap your neck. I couldn't believe it. And then he was about to be like, now dads, it's your turn. And I think the collective look in the room, he was like, uh, uh, okay, you, you're the he just like crowned a winner right away. Like, <laughs> but from that, that those two incidents, and then Shay requested the cha cha slide. Loves the cha cha slide. <laughs> Told her to go request it. Gets her courage up, runs up to the DJ, requests it. She comes back, she's like, I requested it. Half an hour goes by, nothing. I'm like, go remind him. And she's like, he, she comes back, she's like, he said he was gonna do it. We're getting towards like the end of the night. No cha cha slide. And I go over to the guy and I go, if you don't play the cha-cha slide, we are going to have a serious problem. And he's like, it's coming, it's coming. I go, my daughter is going to start crying if you don't play the cha-cha slide. Enough. Thank God he played the cha-cha slide. And it got the crowd going, by the way. Cha-cha slide always plays. This dude was (laughs) acting like I was in the middle of like, you know, messing up his set at like Electric Daisy or something. (laughs) Like, you're playing for a bunch of six-year-olds. Play the fucking cha-cha slide (laughs) and stop being such a goddamn creep. (laughs) Never seen anything like it in my life. That guy going, ooh. If if it wasn't horrifically sad, it was objectively funny. This guy just going, oh, damn. Damn, nobody's voting for this girl. Why was she a bad dancer? No, I don't know. It was like... And the look on that girl's face was like, she was just like, wait, what? Because she got like called in to be, she was like top four. And I was just like, I guess you just don't have any friends. I don't know. That girl just doesn't have any friends. Because everyone else had like their group of girls who shrieked. 
and that girl just didn't. I was like, oh, my <laughs> God. That was fucking brutal, dude. It's like, I don't even think your dad cheered for you, bro. <laughs> like, it was it was pin drop, bro. It was, it was not a single sound the first time. I could not believe it. It was absolutely fucking crazy. Nah, man. She wasn't as good as Stacy. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, cheered for the other girl. <laughs> absolutely brutal, man. I always told you I'm very objective about everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good life lesson for you. <laughs> Dude, I, I actually I went to um Fall Out Boy Friday night. Oh yeah. How was it? Uh, it's good. I think that girl's gonna find herself there. Yeah, just, a bunch of just <laughs> suicidal teens. Bro, it was <laughs> No, because it's we're not Well now it's suicidal like forty year olds. <laughs> Let me tell you this about the pop punk crowd. We don't age great. Not at all. Because well, it's a bunch of it's white people. Dude. It's white people all aging, bro. It's white people who were raised on like Mountain Dew and yes. rejection. Yeah. Like, it doesn't. <laughs> it does not work. It does, it does not work, bro. There wasn't an athletic build in MSG that night. <laughs> not a shoulder was seen. Bro, Just... Everyone, was, everyone was shaped like a basketball. Like, like, like everyone was bald. Like, turns out, like putting Spencer's hair gel in your hair, like yeah, not purple, good. Doesn't fucking not great for hair follicles it was like everyone was bald and fat it was so I, funny they were singing their fucking hearts out though dude, weren't they uh, they, they all was, had pipes i'll tell you that it was much. legitimately like the best show i've been to. <laughs> like, but, like for sure since eras and like it might be like the second best concert ever there's been. a strong chance that you were like absolutely the most like in shape like <laughs> biggest guy in the arena for real think about it for real, <laughs> how many other people out there were looking like that? The, the it was, it was. Who was the, it worse uh, for, the men or the women? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was, was not a pretty sight, bro. Man, like that's you, hilarious. You picture like. Uh, I don't know, like chicks with nose rings and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It, it was also I mean, funny. That picture right there says it all. Like that's just there was no pit. Like dude, like having like. Having fold out chairs covering the floor at a punk rock, punk rock concert. Like, so no one's standing up and dancing. Everyone's just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to, I need to sit down. <laughs> Dude, it was fucking. Oh, it, it was. It was honestly fucking awesome. <laughs> that is so it, good. <laughs> that's. It's the most pathetic gathering. <laughs> Just like people. Like, I mean, like again, these are my people. Yeah, like, these yeah. are my people. Yep. Yeah. There, there, are, there are like juggalos who are like, wow, this crowd. This crowd is <laughs> crowd something. It was. It was awesome. It was. It was so funny. Like, and you were, were you just uh, were you just singing your heart out too? Bro, I, was, Just. I, I don't think I. I don't think I. <clears throat> I don't think I, there was a song I didn't not scream. <laughs> but so like I was with this group and like I was on the end and our seats were kind of angled like this. Mm -hmm. So at no point could I naturally join the crew. So you so were on I your was own by myself. <laughs> fucking rocking the whole, like I would occasionally turn, but it, like it didn't make sense because you know like you know like sometimes the seats are like this and yep. and yeah, it's yeah. just like I just had to sing to the stage the whole time. It was honestly it's better, better that way. That's way better. Was, yeah, yeah, dude. I'd just, rather I'd rather do that shit on my own. Yeah, that like matching energies. Oh, and I soft. hate yeah. that. <laughs> when I'm when I'm up, I'm up. When I'm down, I'm yeah. down. If I don't know the words, you know, I'll whatever. You what, I wasn't down the whole at time. all. Yeah, yeah. Good for you. That's that's right up your alley. And, and, and like sold out garden, right? Like sold out garden. Just them. Uh, they were the headliners. Uh, Jimmy. Eat World. Oh, right, Jimmy. Eat World. But Jimmy it was Eat not World. like a festival where it's like you know it's like. No, they, I mean, there were like five bands probably. But like, I'm saying it was a Fall Out Boy concert. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Like yes, the yes. fact that those guys, I mean, dude, that's that's the music industry right now. Like it's every, it's all legacy and nostalgia acts Bro, that are just still it killing it. It was, I mean, it, it was. I would love I thought that, it was going to be fun. It was a million times more fun than I thought it was going to be. I would love nothing more. Imagine like right now, it's like kind of the opposite. But imagine if all the streamers and all the, the Instagram influencers and all that were like flopping. And it was all the old school acts that people were just like loving, you know. Yeah, that that's gotta feel so good for those bands. Like they're old, they're not what they once were, but they're still like. But they're, they're also like Fall Out Boy's probably like mid four. Yeah, I was gonna say they're not right? really like. Old. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not old. old like, yeah, especially for 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 white people music, you can do that like forever. Yeah, they so like they're they're kind of like probably in their prime to be honest. Right, <laughs> if like if if they got big a little before I was in high school. So like that's that's probably early twenties. Yeah, yeah. Right? but it's, I guess they're just they, are they putting out like new albums? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. just a new album. 
That, and, like, and, that's and they're they, like charting and shit. It's like I, yeah, it's good. They, they, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's like what they killing. Were. Yeah, yeah, it's not under the court tree and waiting, but it was right, right. It right. was it, it, it. They 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 probably played in in a two hour set. I would guess they played four or five songs from the new album. Right. And it was, and but it was before, just dude, like like they fucking rocked. Dude. Yeah, like sure. Bro, <laughs> B, B went at a fucking flame guitar flame. Saw, I saw some of the footage of <laughs> it was his fucking, hair blowing. Oh, his hair. That like it, it oh, that looked geez. like it was like a like somebody had a fan. It was at, at, at one point I was like me and Pete keep making eye contact. He can tell I'm looking at his hair too much. <laughs> <laughs> I was convinced. I was like, he fucking spotted me. He got me. He, he Bro, <laughs> nobody has that syndrome more than you. You're convinced that. That it's people not, are always honestly, it's narcissism. Yeah, yeah, it like, really is. It's, it's like trust me, they don't care about you. <laughs> it's I'm like, God, man, Pete saw me. No, <laughs> he did It's too. narcissism, but with a healthy dose of no self esteem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's narcissism <laughs> with like, oh no, they hate me, or no, oh, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> not like, yeah, they, they're looking at me. It's like, oh <laughs> yeah, no, they're yeah. looking at me. It's the worst fucking form. The worst kind. It's like it is God, the worst God, God was mixing up some fucking self consciousness and there's like accidentally Oops. spilled narcissism in it. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, fuck. <laughs> now he's a real nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to go see uh, Fall Out Boy or any of your favorite bands in concert, you want to go to any of these. Uh, NCAA tournament games you want to go see your favorite uh, team play any sports you want to go see uh, Keegan hit, hit hit the dash and go to, to the house uh, any sort of live sports or live entertainment you can get your tickets through game time uh, Feidelberg is Fights went to uh, comedy and a concert this weekend through game time right I didn't go to comedy yet comedy's oh comedy's game. coming yeah so uh, either way, uh, Fights is, is a user. We all use it here at Barstool, and you should too. So uh, download the Game Time app. Not only is it up to the minute ticketing and pricing, where you get in the in the room for the best shows, get the best price possible, but they also have deals, flash deals, where a certain uh, region of the country will be on sale or a certain event will be on sale. So as long as you keep that app downloaded and have notifications on, you'll see all sorts of deals for live entertainment popping up at any given moment. And if you can find any anybody that beats the same tickets at the same price, they will give you 110% of the difference back. It's game time, the best place for last-minute tickets with up to 60% off your favorite uh, live entertainment. So, uh, what are you waiting for? Go get your tickets. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the app, create an account, and use code KFC for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. <clears throat> I'm looking here on the Game Time app. Tonight is uh, Pistons at Knicks. You can get in the Garden for a hundred and twenty bucks right now. <clears throat> I mean, they got deals all over the place here. Uh, ranging, damn, they got tickets that look like very good seats for like 200 bucks and the cheapest price right now, 120 bucks to get in the garden, which is always a steal. And I'm seeing opening day tickets, (sighs) opening day tickets to the Mets, 24 bucks. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Download game time and go to the Mets opening day for 24 bucks. <laughs> My Friday night was when I was at the dance. I, I was getting, I got texts of uh, Keegan's first first ever touchdown, and uh, took it to the house. Just fucking immediate first play from scrimmage, first game ever. House call for Keegan, and uh, now I'm wondering if I gotta keep Jackie away from him. Because <laughs> Jackie and Baby Gronk are basically dating. Oh no! Don't loop me into that. I mean, have we figured out what that video was? So I know all about this. This guy Hoopify, he does. I'm sure he's paid for by Baby Gronk's weird ass dad to yeah. like make these videos. Right. And he always does it with girls Jackie's age. And I knew the whole time there was it was only a matter of time before this video gets made. Okay. I was checking my phone hourly. Because that guy <laughs> does that guy does, he does like other videos too. He does yeah, one yeah. But he but then he does baby gronk ones specifically. Baby gronk like is Livy like dating baby right. gronk. Right. That's the one I yeah. I know, but he does other ones with girls. Like yeah, yeah, he like he'll do fucking, some weird, weird stuff. Yeah. I was honored that it was like there was no introduction. It was just Yeah, it was like everybody knows who Jackie Nichols is. Like no questions asked who Jackie Nichols is. He always does it with Livy. Yeah, like Livy, I saw, but like he's been doing it with this girl. She's another gymnast. I mean, Jackie, you're basic. You're on the level of Livy Dunn. Yeah, like what? Yeah, I'm honored. I'm so conflicted because I'm like, 
he, he's, it's an account for an, it's obviously his dad but it's an account for an 11 year old boy but also like I'm honored and yeah. I'm starstruck yeah no I mean you're basically you made it Jackie I'm an 11 year old boy has a crush on you and that weird guy is reporting on it you've made it to the top but it, it's evening out my 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 like ratio um, yeah your age why, my age ratio I think I'm like you're least, back to normal I'm back to probably normal right now. I mean honestly if you uh, what is it? He's eleven. I, I would say probably not. To be honest, I, like give right? me I seventy plus fifty plus eleven. Well, by you, three. give me, okay. give me, give me. <laughs> what's that <laughs> guy? Give me a, a age of someone. Have you hooked up with someone your age recently? No. <laughs> <laughs> Straight Straight hard up. Up. Okay. Straight up. No. <laughs> okay. Um, have I, I? I. Yeah, I can't even. No. Straight up. No. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Okay, well, right now your average age is 43, 44. Wow. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, that's not terrible. Not bad. I mean, it's not, it's not yeah. great. It, listen, <laughs> if it's actually a 44 year old, you better be rich. You better <laughs> yeah. not just be dating a regular 44 year old. Yeah, because you're, you're 24, 25? I am 24. If I said that like I'm I'm 24. I said that like a, I'm I'm 24. <laughs> like, you said that like like I'm John like, said. Are you 34? Yeah, yeah, no, like, no, I mean, you're like are you 24, 25? I'm sure I am 24. I'm pretty sure you're not 24. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I really mean I think Jackie was 22 for like three years yeah. in my mind, and now and now I'm like this bitch like, is like 30, right? I, I had no I, I, no I had a general idea, and then and then you so <laughs> no. are so hell bent on convincing. Not 24. Me. You're are you 25? <laughs> I swear to God, I'm 24. You're not 24. No. I am, no, I am 24. I'm really making it seem like I'm not 24. You are not 24 no, years old. Dude, I swear to God. I, what do you want from me? Your license. Okay. <laughs> when is your birthday? September 6th. You'll be, you'll be 25 in September? 1999. Yeah. So okay. you're, you, I, you just is, turned 24? Yeah, I have a few no wrinkles. No fucking way you just turned 24. Yeah. I just turned 24. Don't look at the picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're 12 in this picture. <laughs> Night, night, <laughs> September 6th, 1999. Yeah. yeah. The fuck? It's crazy. I would have said you're 28. Wait. <laughs> you know I'm like in the no, middle of No, no, no. Though, it's not. He's not being rude. He's just basing it on your skin. <laughs> <laughs> Shut, shut I'm just betting on your looks, not your behavior. <laughs> it's not, it's, not how you're it's just on your general it's how you, aging process. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, if, if you were to mix in, I gotta mix in more eleven. If you mixed in a twenty, <laughs> I got Nickelodeon. If you mix in a twenty-eight year old, you could crack into the thirties. You'd be thirty-nine and three quarters. Okay. Okay. And, and if yeah, let's see. If you mix in another, another uh, eleven-year-old. Your, your age is still 35 and a half. Though that 70 year old's really skewing things. That <laughs> 70 year old's really creating problems for I, your but, dating but record. But also, it's right like here. I didn't do anything with him, so can we take him off the list? I mean, uh, and, I, and I also didn't do anything with the 11 year old. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> wait a second. He just had a great butt dance. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the, wait, wait, but real quick. When that video came out, your initial reaction was clearly like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm Jackie Nichols. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Everybody knows it. And and Baby Gronk and that weirdo kid is uh like they're you know, I'm on their radar. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I mean I definitely was like I don't know. I mean it's also like it's the forty year old dad who's who's Yeah. <laughs> so again, ratio I mean, I mean, wise. What, uh, what do you do when you're baby gronk and you turn when you're like you become like your own person? <laughs> what happens? I don't know. Like even when he's like sixteen, it's like you got to go to school and be like, I'm a regular person. I like to play football. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a regular kid. It's probably not going to be regular because of all this. But then it's like, oh, you're a baby Gronk. Your dad's been like pretending to be you his whole life. <laughs> like that's – how do you just hand that, oh, no way. That's not – no way. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This kid has no shot then. No. What? Mind. That's his mom. What does she look like? I can't tell. Jackie she kind of looks like you. Man. Jackie, <laughs> Jackie, never in your wildest dreams. Come look at this. Is it, is it gonna be? I'm like scared. It's gonna be like an old woman. I guess. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Jackie's like, oh my god. No, it's no, just like an older white woman, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this all makes so much more sense now. Mm. I don't know. That's just. That's crazy. Totally crazy. Do you think that there's a chance that this kid turns out normal? No. Yeah. Sure, John. <laughs> right? There's like, always a chance. There's a chance. Well, well, uh, 
I was debating whether I wanted to wanted to put this on there, but I, I sent you the conversation I had with Keegan over the weekend. Keegan, Keegan, oh, yeah. Keegan at the age of six had like a an adult breakdown. I couldn't believe it. I I, I was he was baseball baseball and football started as basketball was ending. Uh, yeah, as basketball was ending, so there was an overlap. So there was like two weeks basically where he had football, baseball, basketball. And martial arts. <laughs> and he likes all this shit, but a lot of different after school activities and school and play dates and shit. And all of a sudden he didn't want to go to martial arts a couple times in a row. And he was like causing a scene, being like, I don't want to go to martial arts. And we were like, Come on, man, like you gotta go. You signed up for it, it's a commitment, you gotta do it. And he like the floodgates just opened and he was like I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too much. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm the worst parent in the world. Oh my God. I was like, fine, you don't have to do anything ever again. And all of a sudden it went from like, his schedule is too much to <laughs> he's going, I'm just, I'm lying to you guys. I'm lying to you when I tell you <laughs> I like this stuff. Oh. I'm lying to everybody. I keep saying I like it, but I don't. I'm lying to my friends, telling them that I saw those videos when I didn't because I want them to laugh and like me, but I didn't. I'm lying. And I this is on FaceTime because he was, he was, it was in the parking lot of, mar, of martial arts. His mom called me to be like, can we talk? I'm literally on FaceTime. I am like sobbing, trying to hold the camera away. He's like, I'm lying to everybody. <laughs> so then I finally get, get together with him uh, for, for going to sports, going to football <laughs> during the weekend. And I was like, let's let's talk about it, buddy. And he goes, and I well, I guess we'll put, it's just the audio of him because I don't want to film him while he's doing it, but I turned the camera on because I knew it was going to be just ridiculous. He said to me, I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have any thoughts in my head that are true that I think are going to make them laugh. Oh. So I my lie God. to make them laugh. <laughs> And it goes, I just want to make people laugh so they like me. And I'm sitting in the seat, in the front seat going, I hear you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Been there for 15 years now. I mean, not, I've never, like, I couldn't, I, I could not believe, like, the words I was hearing. Because we've never, as much as I do feel that, like, make people laugh so that they like you. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> but I've never, you know, that's never been something we've talked about or, like, we've gotten the vibe from him or whatever. And I was like, just don't don't lie. Just, like, tell true stories. And then, of course, he goes, all the other kids have, like, great stories. And he starts to tell me ones that they're, they're all fucking lies. <laughs> and, and he goes, no, no, no. He told me. He told me it was a true story. Oh, he did? He told you that? I was like, so why don't you just start lying and say they're true, too? <laughs> Dude, I remember. I mean, I couldn't, I, I'm, like, six years old, and he's worried. His schedule's too much, and he's worried about people liking him for who he is. I was like. Bro, you're too young for this. <laughs> I, I remember when I was a kid, I had a buddy who had this story about these two mice who lived in his backyard, and they'd always come kiss at night. They'd always kiss goodnight. And then they, <laughs> and then they, and they died, and he found the skeletons <laughs> kissing. And I was like, how am I supposed to compete with this? <laughs> I, was like, exactly. I was like, you got this fucking guy spinning tales of fucking Dead endless romance? Kissing. Like, how am I going to compete with that? <laughs> he said when he picked him up by the tail, Kevin, they stayed stuck <laughs> together. And I was like, is this fucking kid's going to get all the pussy? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bro, this is also why I, I do this podcast and tell these stories because he's always got something. That's when ridiculous. I was a kid, there was the tales of the two dead mice. <laughs> what? I, bro, I, I he's my crazy. best friend. I was like, I don't, wanna, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to compete with that. Yeah. Like, what, what, what happened to me? I don't know. Uh, my family got a dog the other day. That's all I've got. That's the only cool thing that's happened to me, man. Yeah, you don't realize that everyone's lying. It's almost like more impressive to lie lie about though like that's a crazy detail yeah that is crazy those, those mice kissing to each other good night yeah. i saw in the disney movie or some shit. i don't fucking know but i remember like, sitting still there jealous still about it. yeah dude, I, I complained to my mom i was like this is fucking insane this like, kid's got great material <laughs> have you seen have you have you seen little robbie do his son his 10 minutes set? <laughs> he's got no way <laughs> 
<laughs> Rob's got a tight ten. Fucking Robert. He's, dude, gonna, he's going I, up at the cellar next. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bro, when I was in, I, I want to say like second, third grade, I developed an eye twitch and constantly getting made fun of. And so I came up with the eye that I came up with the lie that I had superpowers. <laughs> Told that's my, like, my I mean, that's not the most classic like yeah. defense mechanism ever <laughs> like for, for a little like kid. a whole year though. They were like, this is low key. You can't tell anybody. Like <laughs> I have superpowers and it's too powerful. That's why my eyes twitch. Whole year I had them. Crazy. <laughs> really? <laughs> Your boy, how old were you? I had probably like 10, 11. Dude, 10's that, a long time. 10's a long time. I like had for... a I was going <laughs> to I hope it was second grade because uh, you're talking a little more like fourth grade. <laughs> and then you and your friends are dumb. This <laughs> <laughs> all backfiring on, on, on Paz. We're like, hey, Paz, just so you know, your two best friends are <laughs> 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 yeah, my two buddies, really strong guys. They believe they believe <laughs> <laughs> we did, did everything again. We rode the bus. Our, <laughs> our teachers would hold our hands as we walked to the bathroom again. <laughs> I was just well into high school. <laughs> Speaking of, did you see that commercial that went viral? No. Can we pull that up? You guys know what I'm talking about? It's this girl, and she's like, Wow, I'm surprised. Mm. It's, yeah. Okay, here it is. Yeah. Say one oh, doctor, yes. Doctor, I, I did see this commercial. So you don't and it's a great a message. You know, you assume I can't drink a margarita. So I did. I don't I, drink I, a margarita. I don't yeah. Like, I, and yeah. I didn't know you could drink you margarita. Assume, yeah. I cannot live on my own. So you don't encourage me to live on my own. But so I don't live on my own. Coach, you assume that I can't I'm just harder. saying. So you don't train me to hit harder. Like, she's, you know, like, and she's like the all star. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> like, let's yeah. just call it what it is. This girl's higher IQ than me. <laughs> <laughs> so say, this girl, this girl <laughs> manages a acting career. Like, she is far more put together than I am. Like, if, totally. I, if I rolled up, if I roll up driving, you go, you drove here? <laughs> like that, 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 that's yeah, totally. the reaction of me driving. Somebody. Honestly, it, that really you would happen here? to me. John drives. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this girl, yeah, you she's up dinner she's, every night. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right after I exercise. <laughs> 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 what, what, what do you like, candy? Yeah, then I do. Then I do like candy and movies. Yeah. <laughs> Your wife is totally. You guys like you guys are. You're impressive. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. You are Kevin alone. <laughs> That's so good. Do you think that I'm? <laughs> oh, hang on a Man. second, John. You drove. Yeah, <laughs> to get <laughs> the impression that there's a whole chunk of the community being like, I mean, come on, Jesus Christ, you know, like <laughs> it'd be like if you know if uh, if like Ryan myself. Gosling was making a video about like being an everyday guy. Yeah. it's like, well, come on, bro. <laughs> it's not really like that for most of us. <laughs> most of us can't drink a margarita. Come on, I can. I can just see myself. Being like, like just getting in trouble by her at the bar, and like he, here's a situation I could fully find myself. In. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Me seeing this woman at the bar, and her coming up to me being like, "You're not buying me a margarita because you don't think I can yes, drink a margarita." Yeah, yeah, and me yeah. be like, "Oh goddamn, my bad. Here goes a margarita." And then like she's like, "You're not asking me to dance. You don't think I can dance?" And I'm like, "Yeah, no, you're right. Let's go dance a little bit." And then and then the lights come on at two a.m. She's like, "You're not trying to fuck me because you don't think I can fuck." And then it comes eight o'clock in the morning, and I now got a girl with Down syndrome pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> All because she's pressured me to be like, you don't think you can fuck? You don't think you can fuck me? You can fuck me. L ladies and gentlemen, you just saw how out, in, out of an order, how out of order is written. That's it. You just saw how it, out of order comes to be. If you don't do that skit and make it a commercial like that, you should shut down the whole operation. And everyone's like, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know, man. She just kept telling me. She like, I, she said I can't do it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. She kind of cornered me. And now. Here's what we're going to do. Make that skit. You have to charge for it. You can't put it out. And it will be one of the funniest skits ever. Made. John be like, oh, here's a margarita. <laughs> All right, let's dance. All right, let's fuck. I mean, 
That, that, like, that, that would happen. Like that's how most of my sex happens. The 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 quickness <laughs> which with that all just unfolded in your brain was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. He sent one to the group chat this week, and that's probably my favorite one ever written. <laughs> no. I, it's gonna be a season two one. It won't come out for a while, but it's, it's it, your your brain is just you just you you just think in skits now at all times. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny. <laughs> What do you think? I can't drink a margarita? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, here you, you go. Think I, don't I can't know. fuck big boys. Ah, I never said. <laughs> <laughs> never said that, but okay. <laughs> oh, man. That's uh, funny. The, it all does remind me, though, of Mincy this weekend. I still have not seen this. This clip of Mincy is. I mean, I've watched it 100 times. Wait, what part reminds you of Mincy? <laughs> all of it. You'll see. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, okay. Good. Wait, what is this? This is. This okay. is uh, Viva TV. Okay. Uh, Chicago. Okay. Uh, Mincy in that conversation, and I actually am supposed to go smoke a bowl with him right now if he's around. What's up, man? Yeah, doing good, man. You got a couple bones on you? It's okay. Hey, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't bring that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, I, <laughs> I got, I got no idea. Mincy, Mincy. I got no comment. A lot of interesting things were done. Mincy, <laughs> I'm now fully convinced Mincy has never lied in his life. I mean, that was. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't bring that. <laughs> I don't know. Just... And Biz going. <laughs> I got, I got no idea. Mince, I got no comment. A lot of interesting. <laughs> Bro, he Mince went from being like the most casually relaxed person I've ever seen in my life, just like he, hanging out. He the literally couch. pulled his arm back. <laughs> he was giving a dap. He went, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. What were you, were you asking for? Illegal weed? <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, nope. He he turned into like Porky Pig. <laughs> It that was is crazy. <laughs> like doing like the, the hand worst wave, liar no in the history of life. Well, now <laughs> it's good to know that like all these other times, he really is telling the truth. Yeah. It's like I didn't think it would be a big deal, or I, you know, I'm sorry. It's like he really is because if he was trying to lie, he would look like fucking well, that. I, 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 I don't know anything about that. Like, <laughs> Wait, did you see him about. asking for the vape from uh, from PFT? No, this one might be better. Biz, biz, the whole time with his mouth open, going <laughs> so good. I mean, he, he, he's, he's got, he's here for life. <laughs> he's here for life because we just have to wait for these moments to keep yeah. popping up. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's got to be a weird feeling when you're like, I can't ever, I can't replicate this or do this at will. But my regular, yeah, but, yeah. but but I, but I, it's like he wakes up going like I don't know what I'm gonna do today, but something's gonna happen. <laughs> Hopefully, Biz asked me for weed, and I can check my box for the day. <laughs> did did mm. Biz like Biz didn't do that on purpose, right? He wasn't like let's go sandbag him. No, like, like he like he he was just like all right. I he think he just thought, weed and gonna, like I might as well be asking for a glass of milk. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. the thing that we're allowed to do, right? <laughs> Never change, man. Never change. Eat better with Factor Meals. They are delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Your boy Feidelberg is all about rattling those pots and pans, and he wants to cook, and he wants to pretend that he's one of those chefs. He's like, bam, and he's yelling, and he's all. I'm Lugasi from Fall River. Yep. He wants, that's, that's who he wants to be. Me? No, no, no. no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with dishes. I don't want to even wait 20 minutes. I want it to be done. I want a good meal in under three minutes and that's what factor gets you I, I, it's that to me factor might be the greatest like achievement in like human history. science yeah. it's crazy <laughs> it's like good food up until this moment good food took time or effort or money or you had to go to the restaurant and now it just doesn't it's like you can just get like filet mignon or lobster or dips and chickens and every type of food under the sun it's just in a in a uh a microwavable tray, and you think it's going to be trash because, yeah, I'll be honest, in the past, that stuff is not, is, does not ever come out good. Factor has figured it out. They unlocked the success behind it. It's dietitian approved. It's chef approved. It's KFC approved. It's Barstool approved. You just open it up, microwave it for like a minute and 45, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's delicious. I, P- particularly in this era, I, I don't order that much anymore. Out. And when I, I'm, I'm disappointed 100% of the time always. I do. It's always when dripping and it's, wet it's or, lukewarm. or dry. It costs 90 bucks. Yep. It is, bro, I got I got a lasagna flight this weekend. 
The lasagna flight? I got a lasagna flight. You throw a lasagna flight on a menu, I'm going to check out what it is. Okay. It was like $83 to get delivered. It was and, just like four different types of lasagna? And it was not good. No. And I was like, I wish I just fucking cooked or yeah. ordered or something like that. Or, oh, I'm sorry, I had a factor. Not whatever, even. Like, just you, know, you didn't cook. You just put it in a microwave. It was. And I remember being skeptical. Don't get me wrong. Seeing salmon and, and steak in the microwave. I was like, I don't know. And every time it is tender, it is juicy, it is somehow cooked perfectly. I don't even ask questions anymore. Factor has cracked the code. So head over to factormeals.com slash KFC50 and use code KFC50 and you get 50% off your order today. That's factormeals.com slash KFC50 and then code KFC50 at checkout to get 50% off your order. Rap is in such a bad state that Kendrick Lamar just saying like, fuck those other guys, like set the world on fire. That... Like, I hope Drake and, and J. Cole, listen, if Drake and J. Cole make responses and Kendrick and them have like all out war and they're going at it and they're making songs, that's great. But at where it stands right now, like, like nothing that Kendrick Lamar said there was particularly like la- layered or clever or it was just like, fuck those guys. <laughs> there was not like a, a verse. There was not a, uh, there was no references that were like, you know, deep or like, oh shit! Now I know he's talking. You know what I mean? Unless, unless there's stuff going over my head. But everything I saw about it was like, okay, yeah. He just said like, it's not the big three. It's just me. Fuck you guys. Um, the did you see that the track listing thing? Yeah, that is weird. That was crazy. That is yeah. strange. It looks like all of the songs on Kendrick Lamar's album like reference all of the songs on Drake's album. Which, if that's me, if I'm Drake. That's like I live in your head. Yeah. You made a whole album constructed around my last album because you wanted to like reference all of my tracks. I don't know. That 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 to me seems like yeah, that's you're doing too much. much. Like I don't think about you at all. That, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like and here's the thing about Drake. You can do this, we can like we'll, we'll have this argument forever and it'll never change. Drake will end his career. Unless, unless he like really makes a, a classic hip hop album one day, he probably won't because that people have been asking that for years and he doesn't do it. Drake will end his career with like backpack underground rap heads being like, "You're not a real rapper," and him being like the most successful rapper of all time. That it's just how it's gonna be. It's gonna be like a like a LeBron thing. It's like there are the people who are like, "You're not the greatest," but by all the metrics, he is. But there's something lacking with his atmosphere, with his aura, that he does not get the respect. And 99% of that, I think, is pretty ridiculous. But there is that 1%, the same way with LeBron. You're, sometimes you're like, Ugh, that was lame. That was yeah, that yeah. was weird. Why'd you say it that way? Why'd you do it that way? It does. Yeah, that was kind of like, you know, you are being a bitch or you are flopping or you are, you're, you yeah, know. Something crazy like making a kid's movie. <laughs> weird things, though, like when he when he when he – like pretends to read the books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he doesn't know the quotes of the movies, he says he loves like things like that. Where you're just like, yeah, okay, you're 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 like the kid lying about the two mice kissing. You're just lying yeah. to try to be popular, you know. But look, if if LeBron did this stuff, MJ did. He would hate. Like, imagine LeBron took a year off to go play baseball. Oh yeah, they'd be, I mean, they'd be like, you don't love the game. Totally. You don't love the passion. You bailed on your team. Right, yeah. All I mean, all of that shit, all the time. So, but but I'm just saying that there is. There is that thing around. You can't say that Drake is like the toughest rapper of all time. You know, right. he, he lacks that. But he's going to be probably the most successful. And there is a reason why people even get upset when his albums aren't up to snuff because it's admitting that you know Drake can do it. <clears throat> if it's if it, if some clown rapper puts out an album that's not like amazing lyrics, you don't care because you're mm-hmm. like he's just a clown rapper. Mm-hmm. The reason why it is such a thing with Drake is because it's like we have heard individual songs or battles or you know the old you where it was like you can do all that so you almost by default are admitting that he is one of the all-time greats so we're just gonna do this around and around and around forever and and the other side of that is Kendrick Lamar who's like got all the respect in the world but will never be as popular as Drake so it's like they are the perfect you know balances on on either side but I, I thought it was all very like overblown considering what rap battle like used to be versus this now if if drake and uh j cole put out like you know full full full-blown 
I saw I saw Drake at his concert say some shit like yeah. nobody can come at me. If he puts out a song and now we have a back and forth, then we can start talking. But right now, the rap world getting excited about that, I think, was more of an indictment of how bad rap has been. Because that that sort of shit used to happen every day. People just being like, you know, "Fuck this person." That was that wasn't even like news, you know. So I guess it's just that there's only three guys really who can rap, and if they're all talking about each other, that's gonna make noise. But anyway, um, and then the Otani thing is like I don't know. That story changed like three times. It never made sense to begin with. And there's three different wires from his account. You gambling, bro. <laughs> You're gambling. But who cares? Uh, I mean, gamble, technically, technically it's illegal, but yeah. He was betting on illegal sites. Or yeah. illegal. Was he betting on baseball? Um, I no. don't know. I think that's part of like the. Because the story keeps changing. It, yeah, was, yeah. it was my gambling losses, and he paid it off. Oh, no, wait. You stole from me. I think I heard it was not uh, not baseball, but, like, I don't know. I think there's every chance that – I think if you if you, if you have $4.5 million wire and two separate $500,000 wires, I think you've been on fucking lots of shit. Yeah. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't really care. I just think it's, like – I mean, that PR was just a nightmare. That the- was crazy. To, to change the, the – ESPN, like, had interviewed the guy, and he was, like – they said in great detail. He described, I was gambling. I racked up all these losses. I told Shohei about it. He was not happy. He said he would pay off my debts and then, like, that I would never do it again. That was Tuesday night, and by Wednesday morning, he changed the story and was like, he knows nothing about this. I stole from him. Because <laughs> I think they very quickly realized, like, even if you pay off a – friends debts you're still like in, in you know engaging in illegal gambling so i'm sure like their 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 team put that out there and then one person was like you know you can still like, get suspended for that right and they were like oh never mind <laughs> this guy's going to jail now uh but the the idea that like he wired the money without otani knowing that doesn't happen you can't wire 4.5 million dollars without <laughs> the person knowing right like you can even have all the info and shit they call you and they talk to you and they like I I mean I haven't wired four four point five million dollars but I've I when I was taking care of my family when I got my money they call you they discuss it they make sure it's going to the right place and it was far less than four point five million dollars <laughs> and if it was you on the phone like I think I don't think I think there's they were asking security questions and all sorts of shit that like even if you're his interpreter so you're, you're as close to him as possible yeah they still know you know if it's you or not so uh, that. That one kind of – I'm surprised it was not a bigger deal. It, that, I don't know. I, it was the perfect explanation of like go play for the Dodgers. Go play for the Padres. Go play for the Angels. If you're a baseball player, nobody cares. Yeah, I, I think – This was in New York? Oh, my God. Could you imagine mm-hmm. WFAN callers all day long? I can't have this guy on my team. But, or like, yes, you're defending this guy. I mean, it would just be nonstop. But they might be happening in L.A., like those calls. Could be, could be. I, I just, I haven't seen. I, any. I, I don't, I don't know. Obviously, but the, I think the interpreter claimed, the bookie knew that it was not actually Otani betting, but that, it was like Otani's account and related to Otani's money, and he let that be known because it was good for business. Like, oh, I'm Otani's bookie. I'm Otani's bookie. Which I, that could be, yeah, possible, also possible. Otani is gambling. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't know this. I, I somebody said to me like, "Oh well, over there they love to gamble." So I don't know if that's. Is that oh, Asian? Asians. Asians love to gamble. Asian yeah, love to gamble. Yeah, so maybe that's a, a big thing. I could so, see. I could sunny, also see though. It's the basis of like three sunny episodes. Remember when? Yeah, when, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess I just didn't realize it was like specifically. Yeah, I think. That. I think how I met your mother has a Chinese gambling arc. Mm-hmm. It's, from what I pick the up from American gambling television, ring in the Asian basement, people love to gamble. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you you saying. This bad PR reminded me of a tweet I saw this weekend. It's the craziest tweet I've ever seen. It was about the Kate Middleton stuff. Mm-hmm. And someone quotes me and it was like, this is such a PR mishandling. If they just handled it normally, we wouldn't have thought he was abusing her. And it was like a big tweet. <laughs> and I was like... Well, I, do still, I still think it was bad PR, but the, the, there's no jump to it. But like, he was abusing her. Like, well, no, no one made you think that, yeah. dude. You <laughs> made yourself think that. Yeah. Like... The I actually I've come around like I don't think it was bad PR either. Well, like, they everything was just what they said was going to happen. No, but the the tweet and the Photoshop stuff was very strange. But the Photoshop was it, that I, I that caption wasn't like here's us today. Hmm. The caption of that wasn't like here's us today. Yeah, but that's what I mean. PR you have to like understand how these things are going to be portrayed. But I would guarantee every picture they've ever posted was Photoshop. So they were like, we'll yeah. Just post. 
a yeah, picture. I could see that, but it's it's rather obtuse to be like, we're gonna post this picture and then talk about Photoshop when we know what the whole world is talking about and speculating. You know that. That's but the gonna... Photoshop only came up after people were like, it's Photoshopped. It's her picture from a magazine. Like, no, it's her face. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this the, is her well, Vogue. But this is her on Vogue. The the real thing was that they initially said, like, she went, she got these tests done. She's having some sort of problem, but it's not cancer. And that's when everyone – because I think if they had just said, like, we don't know what it is yet, right. people probably would have been like, well, we have to wait to see. But once, like, cancer was ruled out, people were like, he's beating her. He's cheating <laughs> on her because it just it, – it gave the green light to be like, okay, nothing – people are still – still claiming it's fake. Like, yeah, well, that's conspiracy. It's just they, one level they, deeper now. This, this, this ring thing, it doesn't disappear. They say, like, her ring disappears. And it – like, I zoomed in on the photo and it just, like – it just doesn't. It's like – and if it did, who? F- what, what does that is fucking that? mean? I mean, it is crazy. And and also when they're like people, are like it doesn't look like it's like well, yeah, I don't think she looks great right now. But she's yeah, going through it's, fucking surgery. But this is what cancer. these like, all things are. Where it's yeah. like it's just it's something. Now it's something we don't know about. Now it's another thing we don't know. About. Yeah, well now they, they just keep going. Know about. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I'm I'm always good. I'm down for a good conspiracy theory. It's if you keep going down, the, like once it's proven or disproven or whatever, if you keep manufacturing shit, you're like in QAnon. That's what they do. <laughs> That's what QAnon does. They just keep moving the goalposts. It's like, OK, Donald Trump didn't, you know, Joe Biden didn't pull off his mask and it's Donald Trump. <laughs> now what? Yeah. yeah and right. they just keep going like that. The fact that you thought it was ever going to happen. <sighs> what was that one that was doing the Nate? Uh, like, oh, she doesn't look good. Yeah, like, yeah, right. It's like she Doesn't has Stuart cancer. Scott look like shit at this Bojangles? <laughs> I remember they did it with, with, Chad, they did it with uh, Chadwick Boseman. They're like, he's on drugs. Yeah, for to try to fight the cancer in his body. You dumb assholes. Let her fucking be, man. Goddamn. All right, let's get to our voicemails. The Gentleman on Netflix, we've been telling you about it for a couple weeks now, and every single person I have run into has told me how good this translates from movies to television. I, to- I started this morning. It's it's really awesome. good. It's Dude, really- I woke up at 7 o'clock this morning. I watched uh, Kong Skull Island, and then I started the... Uh, As one does. And then, and, and then I did The Gentleman. The Gentleman actually- is, is make sure you block out some time. Uh, start binging through it because you're not going to want to stop. It's one of those ones where you're going to look up and be like, oh, what? I just watched 10 episodes because you've got Hitler's balls, cocaine chickens. you got priests with a shotgun, Virgin Mary full of weed. Uh, that's the gentleman. That's what Guy Ritchie does best. He takes that gangster world and turns it into a fun, entertaining experience. And now you get it for 10 full episodes. So if you like movies like Sna- uh, Snatch and Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, uh, then head over to Netflix to watch the new uh, version of The Gentleman. It's watch what happens when people try to play gangsters at their own game. Don't miss The Gentleman, now playing only on Netflix. I also think I'm a little bit racist with Theo James. It was just like British people are British people. Like I was convinced Theo James was the guy from Fleabag who's like the kind of ugly, goofy guy. Just because he's British. Like and then I was like I was looking through Theo James' IMDb and I was like this nope. isn't him no nope. no he's British no he what's he from There's something that he's in that chicks love Divergent. what Divergent yeah. yeah he's that guy yeah <laughs> we're chatting Chattanooga this is a voicemail for us <laughs> we're just Chattanooga fights KFC the rest pause of pause season. pause this. These girls are lost. <laughs> these girls got lost. These, 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 yeah, these girls got lost on the internet. I didn't think it was possible, but you made a left when you should have made a right, and you ended up at KSC Radio instead of Plan Bree. This looks like girls who are about to make a TikTok together, yeah. like you know about Kate Middleton or some shit. These girls are about to ask me and John a question. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're chatting. Chattanooga. Chattanooga. Just Chattanooga over here. We're just Chattanooga. Fights KFC, the rest of the crew, especially Jackie. Shout We're, out to Jackie. Jackie. We're Jackie girls. Miss Gronk. Jackie girls. I literally was watching the episode the other day talking about the homeless man. Oh, the homeless man? <laughs> These, girls, <laughs> These girls are so stoned. I love it. We would do it. And I would do it over again. Shut up. <laughs> but, rip it. 
Rip it. <laughs> Rip it. I love the patent pending. I need merch. I need a t-shirt. I need a hat. <laughs> a good trucker hat. You like a trucker hat. I love a trucker hat, but might as well just get a fucking tattoo across my chest. <laughs> Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. I need merch, though. Jackie. I love you guys. Start the movement, girl. First time caller. Long time listener. We did it at the end? First time long time. Like, <laughs> Viva. So yeah. we were kind of right. Like, they did kind of mean to call Plan Brady. They called, like, <laughs> yeah. our Plan yeah, Brady they, they, yeah. Jackie. <laughs> they were like, you two, whatever. Let's talk to Jackie. Jackie, rip it. It's the movement, babe. I love these girls. I mean, I love these girls. They, <laughs> nobody's ever been higher than those two girls. <laughs> did, you, just, did you see it? They're eating nachos no, the whole I time. Can, I yeah. can see them. Yeah. Uh, just stuffing their face with nachos while they're doing a little Chattanooga. <laughs> ready to rip it. Or rip. I was also saying to you guys, like, I wish I had also called it like the I never said I was perfect era. Yeah. Like, yep. I, I don't know. I hung out with the homeless man. Like, I never said I was perfect. That, I talked to a 70 year old. Like, I never said I was perfect. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I never said I was perfect. It's, that, that has it, like. It's such a good explanation for just everything. Anything. Yeah. I, never, I don't know. I I, I, never did I didn't tell you I was going to handle that situation well. <laughs> I never I never made that promise. Yeah. If I told you ahead of time, I will not go to karaoke with a homeless man, and I went, then, yeah. then I'm in trouble. No, nobody ever I said never I shouldn't said do that. that. I never said that. I never said I wasn't going to get a girl with Down syndrome pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, do you have a tattoo? I can't remember. No. I can't, no. Rip it? Oh, fuck. What that happened? Crazy. I, like, ripped off the... Like, straight up. Uh, like straight that's... up ripped it. <laughs> straight up ripped it. She ripped it. Yeah. Something came flying out. I didn't even of touch what? that. What? <laughs> well, the, like, the mic, mic, though. She the ripped mic. the whole mic out. This thing off. Jackie's so strong. <laughs> I think Jackie has like super strength. Yeah. Just judging by the time she like it was that Are run you calling where, she, me? where she, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jackie's so strong she doesn't even know it. Dude, dude remember, <laughs> that, remember there was that stretch where she was just throwing things at me? Yeah. yeah. She was always throwing like really heavy no, things was, really fast at me. It was wait, there was one time. There was like, was like four things in a row. You <laughs> threw a bag of chips in my face and then you hit me with something else that I've ever been like, that was really hard. This bitch is strong. I accidentally like got massive biceps. I started I think lifting like eight I think you're weeks. huge, Jackie. I think I'm, yeah. Okay. You're going to be on an Amazon show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you might need to get a rip a tattoo for all the girls out there. I can't get tattoos. My mom won't let me. This bitch had a nose job and a boob job, but, <laughs> but she can't get a tattoo. <laughs> Listen, she we're going to make your face and God's your tits gift. perfect, <laughs> but don't you touch that body. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. All right. Well, maybe you can't, but they should. We should get anybody who gets a rip it tattoo <laughs> will get a I shout out like on this podcast. I had like a failed rip it this weekend where like, well, it's not even like a rip it and it's not Ooh, that I like funny. That. Unless, failed rip it. Send in your failed rip it. Yeah. Unless you were like there, it's like not that funny. But so my gym membership, I got it like a gym membership for like a present, but it ends in like March. So I was kind of like. Was it a full year? Yeah. Okay. And awesome. I was like, um, I. Well, I haven't tried out like the indoor pool or the hot tub, like the hot tub. So I was like, okay, like might as well, like fuck it. I mean, it was not that crazy. It's not like going out with a homeless man, but I was like, fuck, it, I'm gonna use the pool. It is a little crazy to be honest. The hot tub. The hot tub. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, how are you gonna Express? go in the hot tub there? <laughs> it's one thing for like old men to hop in, but like, how are you? What What, what are you? Yeah, well, I don't. What do you know. wear I, to the hot tub at the gym? I, I mean, I just like had a bathing suit on, and I was you just like. It? No, I didn't pee. Well, so then Did I, you wear like a like a regular bathing suit? Hot tubs. I wore a regular bathing suit. Why is this so crazy? I'm just asking if you usually pee in hot tubs. No, I don't. I actually like that's one thing that like <laughs> it didn't even occur to me that other people did that. When I ask you a question, you're speaking for all women, just so know, know that. I was curious if like I pee every hot tub. Every hot tub. I stand on the outside of the hot tub and pee into it. <laughs> <laughs> I fill it up. That's like I I mean, once you get in that hot water. <laughs> you pee. Yeah, dude. I mean, hot I tub. think you're weird if you don't pee in a hot, hot tub. tub's a pee. And everybody knows it's hot enough that it kills the pee. It's gone. Yeah. I mean, oh, wait, by like... the way, pee's not even toxic. It's fine. But because of your answer, I'm assuming no women ever pee, so it's mostly male piss. Ew, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never like really thought to, but I could. Well, be totally I can assure you that, that the hot tub at the gym is all male piss because yeah, yeah, no piss. girls are crazy enough to go in there, <laughs> yeah. except for Jack. Okay, well, so I so then when I went to the hot tub, there were all men in there, so I was like, okay, I can't Jet, do the tracks. hot tub. Yeah. But there was a pool next to it, so I was like, okay, I'll just like walk by confidently and act like I was always going to go to the pool. Oh, my God. This so, is amazing. And also, like, it's it's to know, like, it's important to know that, like, I can't swim. 
So I was That's like, right. <laughs> you, we never did the triathlon, by the way. You guys skated on that. And Jackie was so nervous that she was going to like drown during the triathlon <laughs> yeah, part of yeah. the swimming part of the triathlon. So then I'm like, okay, I'll just like kind of like, like stand in the pool and like just get in like for like five minutes and then get out and like walk confidently out. And so then I like get in the pool and the lifeguard like comes running over and I'm just like standing there. Right? And like the are you, are you life- talking like knee, knee deep. Like, like probably chest deep. I'm okay. like, I'm like, you're in the shower. Clinging on to like the the edge of the pool. <laughs> oh my god! And I had just washed my hair, so I'm like not trying to get my hair wet. And oh my god. um, then like the lifeguard comes running over, and he's like, you have to wear like a, a cap and goggles in order to be in this pool. So I was like, okay, no, 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 sorry, I'm like, I'm getting out right now. And he goes, no, 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 like I'm trying to do this thing where I'm being nice to people, so I'll let you wear my cap and goggles. And I was so now I'm like responsible for his like character arc or whatever. And so I'm like, I'm like, no, no, no. And he's like, no, no, no. I was like, I'm, I'm literally just going to be in for five minutes. He's like, no, you have at least have to stay for 15 minutes now. Cause what? like, I'm going to give you my cabin goggles. Like, I don't know why. And he was like about to end his shift. I don't know. So then I was like, okay. Oh so he like gives me this guy's cabin goggles. <laughs> and then, um, and so I put it on, but then I just look ridiculous standing in the pool. <laughs> like you had to be there like me just like with cap and goggles like <laughs> just standing. standing just standing not swimming so i was like okay like i gotta swim but like i would just wash my hair like i really didn't want to swim but i was like okay I, I have to like at least dunk like a few times and then it, like it still looked weird people were kind of staring <laughs> wait so you're just now now you're just standing in the shallow and kerplunk come up that's it well, well then i was like now i have to like swim so now i'm like starting to swim and he's watching and like now he's on duty because now he can see like i clearly can't swim <laughs> and so and so then he like comes up after the first lap he goes do you want like flippers or something <gasps> like that and you then he's just you need help <laughs> yeah, yeah. Words. and then he's just like watching me do like and it was so hard like trying to swim like i'm trying to like act like how i see people swim like, I can't do it bro and he was just watching the entire <laughs> can't time do it bro and i literally was just like after like two minutes i was like i'm sorry like i just gave my brand out and it was so embarrassing bro. i was like i'm, ne- I'm never showing my face again bro you are the best <laughs> that is i'm gonna call it the most jackie story of all time you you all you had to do was just Keep walking and, then, and be I like, know. I'm not gonna get in the hot tub. And then you got inside less. your head that those guys were gonna be like, that girl was so weird not getting in the hot tub. So instead, you decided to wade through the water, take some like dude who was clearly hitting on you, take his goggles and cap, and then flail around in a, in a pool rather than just say, I gotta go. You are the best. <laughs> Per my uh, initial question in this story was, do you pee in the hot tub? Let me tell you something about peeing in the pool. Don't, don't. I don't want to. No, there's no clearer way to show someone that you're peeing in the pool than just getting waist deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just standing there. Like, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that, that girl just pissed. Just, that hot tub would have been like that girl just put on a bathing suit and take a leak and got the fuck out of here. <laughs> had you had that guy not come over and pressured you into wearing his cap and gown, they'd be like, that chick just pissed in the pool and got out. What the fuck? I mean, it probably would be less embarrassing than watching like the if you Jackie, guys could see Jackie, watching me swim. Anything yeah. would have been less embarrassing than what you did <laughs> literally anything at that point you know like the people who go to the pool at the gym are like they're like swimming laps and shit yeah like, i didn't like, you know they don't just that. like pop on a bikini and go to the pool at the gym <laughs> like that's like, insane wow. that you were like i just put on a bathing suit the, like that's not what they do nobody does that now i know oh my god i was like that didn't how did you well. not thank god what if this what if what, were you gonna stop the podcast and make sure you tell that story no, I mean, like, I, it wasn't, you, like, the most electric thing. She scares thing. me. <laughs> I, the, like, what other stories would she, yeah. does she maybe have not told on the podcast? <laughs> because the fact that this podcast was going to come and go, and you were not going to talk about the failed rip it in the gym pool <laughs> is insane. I can't decide what my favorite part is. Her standing there. Or if the guy coming over going, me, do, you like, need a, yeah. do you need flippers? <laughs> was he young? Yeah. Yeah, he clearly was like, you have to stay, like... Yeah. You know, put this on and you can use mine and like stay. If if you're not you, he's like, get the fuck out. (laughs) (laughs) But then he like backed up. Like once he saw me. Once he realized that you were probably.
He's like, like, man, those biceps can't swim. <laughs> 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 hey, you want margarita? <laughs> Oh God, Jackie. Yeah, <laughs> you are. I can drink a margarita. <laughs> hey, KFC fights, Jackie, everyone. I'm a Wisconsin basketball fan playing J. We just played JMU and lost. I was sitting next to a pastor in the uh, stands, and I made a bet that if he loses, he has to convert to Judaism. And if I lose, I have to convert to Christianity. Um, Wisconsin lost. I have to convert to Christianity. <laughs> Not really sure what to do. You guys, have, as Christians, you guys have any like, I don't know, like ideas about being a Christian? I don't really believe in the whole Jesus thing, but I guess whatever you got, I'll take your advice. Okay, uh, that's, a, that's, that's a pretty big part. It's a pretty central tenet of the yeah. <laughs> yeah. the whole the whole Christ thing <laughs> in Christians is is a big sticking point. It's gonna be tough for you to not believe in Jesus. So we're gonna need you to accept him as your Lord and Savior first. <laughs> is Wisconsin a Jewish school? Uh, I I'm basing this off Dan and that guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. It was uh, the Big Ten, I think, in general. Is, uh, <laughs> it's pretty the Jewish. Big Ten is pretty, Jewish. Pretty Jewish. I, don't, I think I've heard that about Michigan, in, Indiana, yeah, Michigan, Michigan Indiana, Jewish. Michigan, Wisconsin. All the, every Jewish kid I know from Long Island goes to one of those. I schools. think Michigan. Really? Yeah. Ben yeah. went there. Michigan yeah. for sure. Ben went Jewish. there. Yeah. I know that. I knew that from Dave. But like again, I'm, I'm talking almost like Jackie answering for all women. Like I know a Jewish person who went there. It's a Jewish school. The like, Big Ten is Jewish is really funny. Why is the middle of America so Jewish? Because, but they're not that that it's, area is not. It's not. It's funny. It's just like they're well, all from I, Long there's Island there's or... Jews three places in the world: Israel, New York, and L.A. and right. Miami, for like in you know, Southern Florida. But those are basically New York. And, but then I think you know you go to school, and I so think they when, all you, the I think when you go to school, they go to like you know Emory is one where you, you know K. Market went there too. It's but like, that's a Jewish school. But you know that's like down south. It's like I think it just became one because it became one. Six Not of like the it. top ten most Jewish public colleges are part of the Big Ten. Let's go. Why? Has nailed it. Crush that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, it, it's probably like I think somebody, you know, decided to blaze the trail and be like, all right, I'm leaving Manhattan and I'm, I want to go to like the Midwest and go to a big, like, big football school or some shit. <laughs> yeah. And then once there's a little bit of a presence there. They're they like, well, follow. Not, not the SEC or anything crazy, <laughs> but like, well, Florida we'll University of Florida has the most Jewish students. That feels like it's a New York, Florida thing, though. Well, no, that's that's as a Florida alumni, uh, Florida College alumni. The program in Florida is insane, like the like program? like tuition programming. Oh, yeah. Like, if your family owns a home in Florida, mm. you, you get like, like zero you get dollars. paid to go to college. Yeah, so <laughs> like, a lot of it's, okay. a lot of them have homes down there. Yeah, like it. And dude, we I, know they want to save money. Like the so I, they just I, send their kid down there. When I was at FSU, I would I had a lot of friends who like had like insanely nice cars. I'd be like, why the fuck do you have this car? And they're like, well, my dad was like, I got into like a bunch of other colleges. My dad was like, uh, if you go, go here, to you college in Florida, I'll get you his car because like he's still making money. Wow, like, he still save money on it. Wow. So like mm -hmm. like pretty late, my apartment complex was like Bro. it was like like. A Hollywood movie, whereas like, everyone had like Porsches and Mercedes, and like it was insane. Because that, no, number four, Jews love the Big Ten <laughs> Conference. <laughs> it's the funniest it. thing I've read all day. <laughs> Yale is the most Jewish Ivy, but Cornell has the most total Jews. Number four, Jews love the Big Ten Conference. <laughs> I mean, that is just so good. Um, y here's the thing: like, if you're gonna try to join my religion and tell me. That the Messiah has still not yet shown up, and you're still waiting from him. <laughs> you can't get through the door. Yeah, <laughs> that's day one. We we uh, you know we got to we got we got to talk about a lot of things. We got to talk about the the blood and the and the bread and and and, and all that. But we can't even get there until you tell me that Jesus is your savior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be like the first step. Uh, you got to convert, <laughs> and um, you know. That's really – we'll talk about the commandments. <laughs> we'll talk about some of the, uh, the sacraments and the, the things you got to do. Your snips, that's fine. We're good with that. But you're going to have to say that Jesus is the Messiah. <laughs> you're going to have to leave that one behind. I mean, these yeah. Jew, the Jews are ridiculous acting like Jesus hasn't – like, <laughs> like they're just still waiting. They're just – like one day it's going to happen. 
Fellas, guys, but ladies, I thought it's I happening. thought Judaism accepts that Jesus came, but that he was really man, right? He so they're still God. waiting for like the the coming of God. It's like he came. But it was that like, guy. That was that. Okay, sure, I'll give you that. That was a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 so that's sure, what's funny. He was here. Jews, <laughs> his name was Jesus. Jews must guy. just think <laughs> they must have just been like. Can you believe what they did to that guy? Yeah. That wasn't even the right one. Yeah. <laughs> they fucking put him on a cross and everything. That was brutal, and it's not even the right guy. <laughs> now, guys, come on. What's more likely? <laughs> Our story's right. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, you know, call back and tell us if you've accepted Jesus, and then we can start talking about the minutia, <laughs> the nitty-gritty, the X's and O's, if you will. We gotta I go do to, love we gotta go to mass on Sunday. You gotta flip from Saturdays to Sundays. You gotta yeah, that's a great bet. That's a that's a, a conversion bet. Priest, where he's like, don't you worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, imagine that priest was just like, well, fuck. All right, I'm yeah. Jewish now. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I made a bet. Uh, the, in, in, the, the, there goes my whole livelihood. The Lord saw I took it. A, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> like that's like uh, do not lie or some shit. You know? <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not steal. Shall... All right, dude. I'm, I'm a Jew now. Also, have to give a shout out to PMT. Like. It's one of those things like it feels like old school barstool where like like Boston we're just always in it. The ch- like, I mean the ch- the chances of that bracket. It feels like that. It, it, it's one of those things like you got to be in it to win it. But like it feels like the sports world is always focusing around someone in PMT. It's crazy. Whether it was PFT, same thing with Dave. I'm sorry, the, it was the, Hank, the timing of Dave. It's it's that deal Max. with the devil. The deal with the devil kind of extends to the PMT universe. Yeah, Max is big for Philly. Yeah, uh, like, but, like, but JMU Dan versus Nala, Duke Williams. and and uh, no JMU versus Wisconsin, Duke, Wisconsin. Yeah, and Duke and then, versus uh, Vermont, Vermont. For it like it, it's, it's crazy. It it, it it like it was. Oh, Boston was always in it. Like yep. it feel like there's always this video is so funny. Shut the <laughs> fuck so up. Good. That like that is one of those things too. Like you gotta like feel like the next day the guy's gotta be like fuck that was PFT. Yeah, they, uh, PFT said the guy ended up being cool, so they, he must oh. have realized it. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I, I can also see if you don't know who these people are, like, if the, like, yeah, you stop are a colossal ass filming yourself. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, I have millions of people who are gonna be pretty mad if I don't. Yeah, like, yeah. I understand. I, I wish I was. I wish I was just watching the game too, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that's a great one. <laughs> I know you shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, that's it for voicemails today. Make sure you call in, hit the line, college girls, all the way up to the fellas, whoever, the grandpa's dating Jackie. If you were at the pool with Jackie, we want to hear your side of the story. Uh, if you got any good or bad rippets, call in. Uh, you got to hit us up. Go to our social yeah, media. I like I like the idea of failed rippets. Failed rippets is a has a lot of potential. <laughs> so hit us with your failed rippets. Uh, anytime you tried to do something and just totally botched it, go to uh, any of our social media pages and click the link to submit voicemails or video voicemails, and uh, you can make it to the next episode of KFC Radio. And we'll get into our interview today with Kyle Kinane. He is uh, Shane Torres's co-host on their podcast and a very funny guy out there on the road uh, who is just... If you if you ever wanted to know like the 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 origin story for pretty much all comics out there, <laughs> it's it's Kyle on this one. So uh, Kyle Kinane, Kyle Kyle Kinane on KFC Radio. Let's do it. Comfortable kicks right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were actually just talking about how borderline house <laughs> slippers. <laughs> I like where you're at, dude. Well, well, we're at a point in the world where you can, if you want, just wear slippers out, and it's fashionable. And I'm like, this is my kind of fashion. I was I was on Crocs before they somehow. Uh, I don't know what flipped it. I don't know if it was urban youths that made it. Like, oh, now it's cool. I'm like, your boy been there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of my. Uh, we have a podcast here, Spit and Chicklets, which is a hockey podcast. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> I don't know how closely you ever followed hockey or any listeners or anybody who's listening to me say In this. the world. <laughs> but uh, Peter Forsberg was a very good hockey player. Mm-hmm. He played for mm-hmm. uh, Colorado Avalanche. Was a very had a very iconic Swedish goal for in the Olympics. Mm-hmm. And he has made more money in his post-hockey career because Crush. he had such bad ankles yeah. towards the end of his career that one of the athletic trainers was like, hey, there's this new shoe. You should wear these around. And everyone made fun of him. And then Crocs heard about it, and they made him, like, the face of European marketing, gave him a ton of equity. And really? It was like, he was, like, the running joke. Best thing the- that ever happened. He was bad <laughs> ankles, man. Yeah. 
Fucking need, Crocs, You dude. need any uh, American domestic slouch to promote Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ditch these <laughs> things right away. I was going to say, <laughs> you, you mentioned my issues. I noticed yeah. yours right, as well, right, yeah. right yeah. away as well. Yeah. Those are very sharp. I, I, I'll tell you, the, the, my first pair of Crocs came because I was invited to a beach wedding that was like, it's for, it's, you know, it's beach wedding. You can like dress accordingly. And so I found something online called Flofers, which are exactly the mix of words of loafers that float. <laughs> I'm like, well, this nails it. Yeah. <laughs> this nails beach casual. And I took them out of the box. And my girlfriend who was always just, hey, if you feel good in it, go for it. I'm like, Check it out for a while. She's like, no, absolutely, absolutely. Not. <laughs> and she felt so bad Full I had to loafers. send them back. That she she got me a pair of Crocs to make up for. Them. I'm like, well, now I'm all you, about this. You, life. you know, it's, you know, it's bad when the women are like, you can go with the Crocs. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's on the beat. It's still it's still formal wear. Yeah, but they, they'll float if they get in the ocean. I could still get one back. Oh, yeah, the loafers. That, I mean, that's what they look like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still might dip back. Out. I don't know. Yo, Crocs are funny. I I. Uh, I tried to reach out. This is like a couple of years ago, because I I mean you, you you do as a white guy you hit a point where you either dive in or you don't. You know what I mean? Like you either yeah. are about them or you're not. And I dove in. Yeah. And I was thinking I was like I want to try to do something with Crocs and Barstool, maybe a collaboration or maybe we could sell the little the little things that yeah, you yeah. you know. And uh, so I asked my merch team to like reach out to them, and like. Crocs wouldn't even like sniff our phone call. They were like, "We're busy doing a collaboration with Balenciaga." Like, yeah, I, I was like, "I think they'll, you know, it'll be good for them." Like, they'll, they'll, they want like the barstool audience, and know it was like, crowd "We're Crocs. good, dude. Yeah. Don't lose your, <laughs> don't know, lose your original fans. They are getting guys. a little bit, yeah, I, uh, yeah totally, totally. No. Yeah, Balenciaga Crocs are not the, yeah, not yeah. the way. Remember who built you? <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the biggest ask you guys ever went for for a sponsorship? Mm. Remember, like. Honestly, I what about Mercedes. Let's see. <laughs> when they ask, um, I, I, they've, they've, it's they more tell us. It's not, it's not a regular thing, but there's certainly been a few times with like any sponsor you're interested in, and I'm like the ones that advertise with podcasts. I don't yeah. fucking yeah. know. Like, I, I, I'm not gonna be, a, I'm not gonna go out there and like you say Mercedes. Like, <laughs> it is. I, I imagine you know who advertises with podcasts. Call those guys. Yeah, and whoever's I'll, throwing the money around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty whoever much. New underpants are out there. <laughs> Give me those. I keep try. I keep juking things. I like mountain biking, and I'm really bad on it. So I'll uh, tag people, like brands and threaten them that I'll tell people I'm sponsored by them unless they give me free product. <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, yeah. We, uh, we like, had a, 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 it'll remain anonymous, but it was a, a shoe company here yeah. that reached out and said like, we love all you guys. You have like complete creative freedom, do what you want, mm -hmm. but we do not want Tommy, this guy uh, who, who we work with, Tommy, yeah. it, wearing our, our, our shoes at all. <laughs> And and he was like he had the plan to be like the anti sponsor. He was like, I'm gonna go around and, and I'm gonna threaten to wear them unless they pay me. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't it work that way? Why can't we get a little uh, blackmail on these corporations? I love the idea of brands reaching out. Could you never wear our stuff? I mean, we'll and pay they, you and they to were, never mention it. It's us. not like it was you know they were not like on the the runways of Milan in Italy. They were kind of like a pretty you know like every man shoe, and they were yeah. like not that guy. <laughs> there was we we had I, I was doing a podcast. We had a spot. It was like a like like underpants clothing thing, and we got it. And you could tell it was like one of those no no fat people brands. Mm -hmm. That's the guy I was with. It's like a double XL. He's like, I got the triple XL, and it fit like a woman's medium. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we, and we had... dragged him too because he did that. The pants they gave like these track pants are supposed to be like a hundred bucks. The crotch fell out of them like after one wash. I'm like, and hey, we're sponsored by these guys. It sucks. <laughs> Everything falls apart. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to people. <laughs> You're not gonna make much money, but you'll, you'll have a loyal audience. Yeah, that's for yeah, sure. I'm really eating a lot of soup with my altruism over here. <laughs> <laughs> How, when did you get into mountain biking? I don't even know if I'm into it yet. It's been, <laughs> that's still, that's so bad. That bad seems at. like something that you <laughs> so can't just be bad at. Like I feel like if oh, you're man. bad at mountain biking, you like Let break me bring your up neck. Some videos. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, I mean, like you stop doing it once you like take a bad spill down a fucking mountain. You just keep yeah, running it. Took, out. It took a few months out of last year. I, I, I'm so I, I talk about it like I'm even remotely good at it. It's just an interest that I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I've been doing for a long time. 
Is it incredibly it, hard? No. It's, no? No, it's how, whatever you want it to be. The only reason I like skateboarding and BMX and all this is because I sucked at sports so bad, and these are things I can go and be terrible at alone, yeah. and I'm not letting down a team. Because I was... <laughs> That's the most that, that was, thing. The yeah. saddest thing I've ever heard. That's the only... My only yeah. sports experience is like, okay, I'm in peewee soccer, and it's me picking my nose while everybody yeah. cruises by. <laughs> Some kid's Italian dad is a coach <laughs> screaming swear words at me, you know, from an Italian... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't think I like this. <laughs> Not for me. Not thing. for me. You know, you're coming up even just kickball, easy out, move in. I'm yeah. like, I hate all these people. I'm not going to do this anymore. I can go f- like fall doing kickflips in the bank parking lot all night and nobody says shit. I'll go do that. So <laughs> that's how I started. That's why I like all the action A regular sports. Tony Hawk over here, yeah, man. I'm just, I'm just against myself. Yeah. That's all. That's the only person I'm bumming out. So. What is, are you, do you still follow action sports and things like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like not like religiously but that's the stuff i pay attention to that's mm-hmm. what is what is the state of them because I, I i remember like when i was younger probably like 2000s late yeah. 90s whatever that, that run like there was a huge run of the gravity games the x games yeah. like all that stuff was on mtv they yeah. had like what I, was the tour called the the, the, oh, there's the, tour, yeah, the, the dude the Ver, tour Ver, Ver, yeah, Ver, the, yeah uh, x games whatever, yeah. yeah i mean everybody's kind of had a piece of it back when yeah. that was i remember i went to the gravity games maybe it was the x games in providence Rhode island with my dad and i was like this is the fucking yeah. and I, I i took an interest in in i, I tried to skateboard couldn't do it yeah and Sucked then at skateboarding. i yeah. i was an inline rollerblader which i feel like is the fake I oh. did some of that. Yeah. I, I fruit booted for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pair of Solomons and no idea how to grind. Just, like, <laughs> yep, yep. Yep. just jumping up on a curb and yeah. just like yep. hitting the curb and falling over and being like, sick. Yeah, 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 that's it. Time to crush these 40s. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just wanted to smoke it. cigarettes in the middle school. In that's the, a, that's that was what, it. You that's what you did. One guy was kind of good. You'd cheer him on. I wanted the lifestyle. I didn't yeah. want. I didn't care about the tricks. So, yeah, there was yeah. one kid. He was crossing his feet. and He, yeah. he knew all the – he was like, I just did a like double back unit. Man, yeah. I was like, cool, man. Can we get the beer now? <laughs> Greg's gonna try and hit the rail by the train station. Yeah. All right, let's get a case of beer and watch him. <laughs> <laughs> the good old days, but I, yeah, I would imagine now people are doing shit. Like, I saw a kid who was like 10 years old doing a 900. And Tony Hawk was like, "This is this is awesome." Like yeah. Tony Hawk did it as a grown man, and it was like the 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 trick heard around the world. And now a literal like baby is doing it. Yeah. Oh, I, t- I think Tony Hawk's in the process of doing all his tricks for the last time because I think yeah. he turned it was fifty or something. So he's trying to complete all this. He busted his femur, all this. Oh. Guy like the stuff. So I'm I'm forty seven. So I started in the eighties, seeing like when it was the real early days of skateboarding and freestyle bikes and all that stuff. Sure. And so. It kind of blew up with like the Swatch Impact Tour was the thing in like 1988. So I remember all that. And then it went dead and it lost all the money. So you had the people that were really into it for the love of it, making their own companies. And it kind of went underground DIY, kind of like punk rock style. Yeah. And then Why'd it came back happen? in all these. Because. Was there like a star I think in the it just I think it just fell out. I mean, yeah. fads. They come and go. You know. Yeah. I Does? mean, w- without knowing anything about. Hearing somebody like say like oh the the NBA's in trouble or something like what <laughs> yeah I was, <laughs> right the like they're gonna make TV, you know like, twelve I, billion instead of eleven billion yeah, or whatever, yeah you know, I'm like, unplugged from sports everybody's like the NBA oh, NHL's having a rough time <laughs> what are you kidding there's been merchandise everywhere like yeah no this was like guys that were making teenagers were making hundreds of thousands of dollars in 1990 are now like oh he's delivering your pizza like, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so I don't know I think it just went back to it I. I like the skateboarders. I think the skateboarders come from more like an artistic background and are more like a little bit soulful. Like the BMX dudes are a little more like backwoods psychos. Yeah, <laughs> they're a little more totally. Like, they're a little more hillbilly. <laughs> yeah, because they're yeah. like, fuck, I don't know, man, fucking drunk it. Oh, dude, <laughs> dude. And the skateboarders are like more finesse and a little. Yeah, I just dig all that stuff. I love. I like somebody that's going out there. Like, obviously, there's competition, but otherwise, the practice to get to that is like. I'm just going to get hurt a lot today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get hurt I, so much. The, the, the amount videos. of guys who would just be like, yeah, I broke like a thousand bones like 10 times over. And oh, like, that's Matt Hoffman. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Like, like that didn't stop you? You're crazy. That's, you, you, yeah. they, those guys do deserve to have millions upon millions if they if you make it to that level. You know oh, what I mean? yeah. Because it's like you really earned it. Well, I remember being a kid going to the skate park outside of Chicago and like, oh, there's like this legend this pro that lives in town and at the time you're like oh he's got to be like 60 like no i think he's like 24 yeah. <laughs> but like hobbling hobbles. like once yeah. he's on the bike he's amazing but he gets off and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> folded over in half <laughs> Jesus. the uh when i was a kid um in one of the, one of the levels in the tony hawk game 
yeah. was in Providence, Rhode Island. Mm. Uh, Skate Island, Skater's Paradise. Okay, one of those two. And me and my friends all went like, "Fuck yeah, dude! We're gonna go with like the Tony Hawk like level." Yeah, we got this. Like a sixty foot half pipe. What <laughs> I was gonna say, "What are we doing?" <laughs> yep. Yeah. You might try to drop in on Stonehenge while I'm at it. This is not. This isn't real. This isn't real for ninety nine point nine percent. I, I, like I, I couldn't like put my foot on the board and just like push along. Like I, I had, I was the biggest spaz in the world on a skateboard. Literally, like tried to do just like ride a skateboard. Forget about tricks. One time, and I was like, never again. Welcome I'm to never every again. day of gym for my yeah, entire life. Yeah, yeah. All right, I, I had a gym teacher like try to like explain a layup in words first. Like, all right, you're going to jump off with your left leg and use your right <laughs> knee to propel yourself. And I just look like I had a spasm yeah. midair. Because <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm listening to the direction like, like this and just look like I had a seizure. And I'm like, none of this. You just get <laughs> yeah. made fun of. Like, like that none sucks, of this is for man. me. I'm the reason there's a written exam in gym class. <laughs> like, I was the reason. <laughs> we got to we gotta get past these kids like, somehow. So let's let them write a poem about track and field. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to see them in here next year. I don't care. <laughs> do Graduate a, this fucking do kid. Do <laughs> watercolor about basketball canane. Just get the fuck out of here. We don't want this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I it mean, was funny. We just, had, we just did our... Uh, we just had a combine for mm -hmm. the office, and like it is. I, I played sports my whole life, so like everyone I hung out with yeah. was athletic because that's what we did. And it was like it's so funny watching like we had like Clemmer up there and yeah. like a guy who works here, and it's like oh you never. It's weird. I I, I don't know why I I didn't take note. I guess of people like you. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I didn't even look at you people like you. I didn't even know you guys get, existed. Let's say there's this, the second saddest thing that you've heard on this podcast. <laughs> like, like if you asked me in school, like, was everyone good at gym? I'd be like, yeah, everyone's good at gym. Because like, yeah. they weren't. We beat the shit out of them. They were, they were crying in the corner. You never saw them. They were dead. They, they, they killed themselves. They cried like until they were yourself. invisible. <laughs> that, that might be the meanest thing you've ever said to somebody. Not Jesus. how I meant it, but, but I completely understand it sounds do awful. This sense of humor developed to save my fucking life. I was gonna say people like you. That's that. <laughs> Tell jokes until I leave you alone. <laughs> the, it's it's the written test in gym class and it's stand up comedy. That's that's what's born out of that, right? Don't crush him yet. He makes me laugh. All right, man, we live to see another day. <laughs> oh, I even get to keep my lunch. This, uh, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> was that was that something like that happened? Was was a, was a lunch? And this is—I'm not asking you specifically. I'm asking like in like for the world. Like that was a really a thing that happened. Like like people stole lunches and shit like that. I would well, I mean, there's but it's it's bullies. High school, there's bullies. There's shitty kids. But yeah. like we like people people in my high school. I really don't think people got bullied. You but, were the bully then. Yeah, that's what I always tell them. I'm like, you were a bully. No, no, <laughs> you I, were honest, the bully. Honest to God, you know who the bully was? It was the, the theater kids. The theater kids were like notably mean. But he went to a wait, uh, wait. he went to a like a boarding school. It's it's like it, okay. Flipped I was like, on wait a head. minute. You grew up in Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> yeah. The theater kids were the bullies, <laughs> yeah. bro. They were what Kyle? photo negative childhood <laughs> did you grow up in? <laughs> God, dude, I swear to God, like like we would like tried to like, smother me with Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat. <laughs> he choked me out. In the back. It was it was they were all. Like they were the the only club that I can remember in high school where it was like there were no there was no mixing like yeah, there was no it was just them it was just them all the time and you like you'd walk by their table and and lunch and they'd snicker at you and you'd be like fuck off Zach like it was, <laughs> why didn't you Zach you should have bullied them the Napster oh one of the few one of the well, they, they made really? an example like one of the very few people that like in Napster and like, pirating music they got them. And we were like, oh, like, fuck yes, the, the back oh, you mean it's it, gone. I was just having, mute, like, not like a, one of the developers. No, right? no, 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 no. Just like, I think, I think, like, the American. Oh, just having, like, oh, you have stolen music on your computer? Yeah. What did he get for it? I, I honestly don't remember because it was, it was actually, it wasn't, it was his freshman year of college that happened. Um, but it was, it was significant. I don't think it was jail time, but I think it was significant money. Really? Like, hundreds of thousands. I forgot about all that. <laughs> Dude, Napster was the best. <laughs> it was the best, not for the musical industry, but like, no. I mean, as a as a kid, where it was like weird remixes and songs you could never find, and and oh you know, yeah, all I that shit. And then, it was and then lime went, wires when I got then, it. Like, yeah. then you got into porn. It was great. I mean, it was just amazing. <laughs> porn, it was, porn just, was such a Russian roulette of like, you never know what you're gonna get. 
Well, now I have to burn my computer. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, it was like, I remember, you know, like going to school in the morning, setting a download. It'll be like, it'll be done at night. It'll take 12 hours. <laughs> yeah. And then you press play and it's like, you know, some troll fucked with you and it's like yeah. not what you thought it was going to be. And it's like a, like they're laughing at you in the video and you're like, ah, foil, yeah. foil the game. <laughs> it's not Tara Patrick. I Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, uh, what, 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 what an era appropriate name to use. Yeah. 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 yeah I remember buying like a, like we moved to LA 2003, got a desktop computer. I'm going to use this to write. I'm going to write scripts and I'm going to write <laughs> jokes and all this. What's this LimeWare thing? And like within two weeks, this thing just wouldn't start. Oh. Bro, it's, it's literally, <laughs> like, uh, well, it, it's, it's, it's it's hundreds of dollars, if not thousands. It's it's a, a big monitor. It's a, mm-hmm. a a fan running. It's this whole setup. It's just yeah. a porn machine. It's yeah. just a big old porn machine that you ruin immediately. Porn and like, well, let me see if this band's on here, and it would it would just be something like, yep. Oh, here's just but Cambodian children. No, no, oh, God. But when you did find the album you wanted, or the you know the 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 blended yeah. song, the remake, the remix, the this, to that, and the porn you wanted, it was it was a beautiful time. It was a beautiful time. Yeah, Fucking the only reason I know what the word "cued" means. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I, bro, I, w- I became a I became an expert in. I was like, "Do you have twenty eight eight or fifty six k? Do you have a T <laughs> you have a T one or a T three? Be amazing. I'll I, settle for a DSL." But <laughs> I I still want to touch back in this world where the theater kids were the bullies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am I am fascinated with that upbringing because that was not the case in mine or I think any other high school. Yeah. I, I went in the so, country. The I went time. to a public school my freshman year, and I can the gang uh, would snap. Coming at you <laughs> down the hallway, and you get scared. <laughs> at public school, it was definitely the jocks were the bullies. And then I went to boarding school, and like, again, they weren't like outwardly mean. It wasn't like anyone was scared of them. Well, they're catty. But they, well, they, they were, can't be, right? they were, they were small, the only right? clique that like stayed as a clique. Everyone else, because it's like, it's, it's was anybody like, beating anybody up? No, 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 no. Like everyone, everyone was friends. It was three hundred kids in the school. Like, yeah, I guess, like I was, guess when you have a smaller, uh, yeah, you know, like, I, I didn't, I went to a, a regular public school, but it was small. It was like probably like four hundred and fifty total kids. Okay, and so like everybody was pretty nice to each other, and there, yeah. was, there was like cool kids and not cool kids, but there was not like watch out for that dude. He's gonna like throw you into a locker and yeah. like you know fucking beat you up. I think oh. when you get into like a bigger school where there's just more assholes and more Yeah, everything, more everybody. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that was a it. bigger pool is gonna have a bigger chance for that kind of shit to happen. Yeah, and I was I mean, I'm a little I mean that's a the joke I did was like yeah, like I'm I'm short, weak, and uncoordinated. So I I don't care about sports because sports don't care about me. Yeah, <laughs> but like, yeah. I was also small like I was a smart ass and I was small so like Beating me up was still gonna make somebody look stupid. Right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if I could say something that wasn't just mean, but funny enough to make enough Hell people yeah. laugh, where this guy has to be like, "All right, Hell he's yeah. gonna <laughs> entertain." Like, yeah. it was this like it's a defense it, mechanism. Yeah, yeah, it was this. That, defense. That's you know what that is. That's like uh, it's like camouflage in nature. You know what I mean? Like you found a way. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just made myself valuable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, hey, the D- girls that- are the girls are laughing. I'm gonna beat them up. The girls won't like me. So I'm like, all right, here's my in. There you <laughs> go. There you go. It's true though. Was that uh, so? That really was. You know, I mean, I still I, got, I still got a couple like close calls. I never like got the shit kicked out of me, but I had a couple like, you know, like the gorilla dragging the photographer into the woods, just to <laughs> let him know, just to let him know. I could if I wanted to. I got, a, I had a couple of those shoulder checks, like nah. A little too funny today, okay? <laughs> okay, all right, Don't it down. Okay. Don't it down. Fair enough. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like we've talked to so many comics now, and I feel like a lot of times when you ask them, like, where, why'd you start, or when did you start, it's like, I was watching, you know, Carlin with my dad or whatever. Yeah. Your, yours is a more a yeah. real, a practical, like. Yeah, as in gym class, which is just the the gen pop of yeah. high school. Right, right. <laughs> We're like, well, I, I just left ceramics, but I guess now I got to go wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> I better, better find my group and we'll stick tight. <laughs> get tatted up. Get inked yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> so, funny, yeah, man. no, it, it came from like, and all my friends are really funny. I mean, I've said, like, it's like, I'm, uh, you know, I'm from outside Chicago. It's like, it's a Midwest thing that, like, if, if you're going to bitch about something, you better be funny. Like, life's not great. Yeah. And everybody mm-hmm. knows it. So, if you're going to complain, it should be entertaining to everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. Don't be whiny. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like like my like my friend Bob had a bad day. Everybody was excited because it was gonna be the best night. And then you'd <laughs> laugh with him, and then he'd feel better about his bad day. Right. But he'd bitch about it in such a like like that's living, brother. That's great, man. That's that's living. <laughs> so and so's getting a divorce. This is gonna be hilarious. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some beers over that. Isn't that the worst though when you you have a friend who doesn't 
take <laughs> take it in stride. Take the negative. Like, yeah. That one. yeah. Like, it's like who doesn't see who doesn't have something negative happen to them and be like, well, I can make this funny. Where it's just like they'll just be down in the dumps. Where it's like oh, I got fired today. Yeah. Like, well, okay. Let's try to have, like, let's we, at least laugh we about know the that one sucks. Th- yeah. Well, it's, it's, entertain me a little differently. But now. it's not even yeah. like they're entertaining. It's like they're gonna process in a way that like. They're not trying to make you laugh. It's like, yeah, things suck. And like, let me talk about how ridiculous it is. Mm-hmm. Like, it's we're not talking about like massive tragedy, but so, like, like, Bob got fired. Like, like, he got a job at the arcade in the mall. He's like, well, they <laughs> said it wasn't in uniform, but they gave me a, like the red vest is too small. And I can't fucking button a vest. I can't be in uniform if you don't have extra large vests. So fuck you guys for firing him. Like, you got fired from the arcade. <laughs> And he's yeah. like, yeah, it's stupid. I'm like, let's go there. If you, you can't laugh machines. about that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, when, when as as doing podcasting, I'm I'm almost like pumped when bad shit happens. Like, yeah, I don't. Episodes done for the week. You yeah, know? I don't want to root for. Like, I don't want to be those guys that needs misery to like. No, have but a it, personality. But it, but it makes it easy. But yeah, <laughs> it, it, it is going to happen. Yeah. And so to have so the, might as well so have the tools to deal with it <laughs> yep, and process yep. it. So it's entertaining. Or, for yeah, sure. I don't like even know. If maybe like the Blackhawks right now, where it's like, <laughs> I don't want to lose, but when I lose, <laughs> yeah, it makes yeah, it easy. Yeah, yeah, it helps out. It helps yeah, well, out. Yeah, well, that's it was like the big Cubs thing. It's like, oh, now they're not underdogs. Now you can't be like, we'll get them next year. It's like, yeah. oh no, there's a win. Now the right. the, the fun of all like the community sorrow isn't there. Yeah, uh, it, it's. Uh, I, I don't know if it's processing it. I think it's kind of the opposite of processing it. We just laugh about it and don't process oh, it. Oh yeah, and but, but never sort it out. Right, and it keeps you up <laughs> at night. There's nobody around to laugh at it, so you're just awake. <laughs> yeah, oh that that happens too. Yeah, bingo, sure that's part of it. <laughs> bingo, bingo. I don't know if that's the the Irish it hurts or the when nobody's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Irish, the Catholic. There's a <laughs> lot of boxes <laughs> being checked for that. Yep. Are we the same people? <laughs> yeah, for real. I see that name, Kyle Kilnane. I'm like, yeah, I'm, yeah okay. checks out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get along just fine. We're gonna, yeah, that, gonna... I, I also don't get how people are not that way. Like, I don't know, the Italians and all their emotions and all their talking. <laughs> it's like, just shh, be quiet. Like, we, like, like, just push it, push your emotions aside like, like real adults, you know? But see, I have that mix, too, where I do, like, emote everything. Well, yeah, but you don't, again, you do it in a way that's not whiny or burdensome you just make people laugh my girlfriend doesn't understand the catholic guilt thing she's like but you're not catholic anymore like it's not it's not it's, it's, it's a cultural it, thing. right it's, yeah. just, <laughs> it's, it's it's not yeah I, I don't care it's just embedded in me yeah you know? yeah it's it's, it's, not, it's not like i'm actually thinking about catholicism and all that it's just yeah no it's who it's, it is. it's the it's the rust proofing they put on the yeah, car yeah. that prevents me from enjoying anything fully <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, like that's there that's not going away <laughs> i didn't ask for it but now it's in there and yeah everything that is I, oh God, that probably upset the, a God I don't believe in anymore. <laughs> I uh, yelled out the window the other day, driving by the church. I yelled, "You're in a cult." <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> awesome. Why? <laughs> I I was like, because it's true. I can't. <laughs> it is true. It, feel, yeah. it feels good. I couldn't believe it, bro. I mean, it wasn't like a, you just did a drive by yelling. I at did a, a church? drive by yelling. It was. You, it, it was people in the car. Was it? Yeah. No. It? But it, yeah, it was. Was it to entertain people? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Entertain me. But it, 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 was, it, it was to entertain. But it was more like the window was down. It was just like an opportunity presented itself. I wasn't yeah. like, I'm going to drive over, put the window down. It was just like we were doing it. And <laughs> I saw this. the most <laughs> angsty teenager I know. thing I ever It wasn't That's like why. a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly that. It was, it was like, uh, I just saw this family, like all, it was like a family too. It was like kids and a mom and dad. I just saw dad. some kids I wanted to ruin. <laughs> they they, they, they were know. so dressed up. And they were all coming out of church, mm-hmm. and I was like, "You're in a cult," <laughs> and I was like, "What the fuck was that?" But I did it. But that's all. I, I mean, that's it. cults are just religions on indie labels. They're just totally. not there yeah, yet. Yeah. Like, you, if just, you just started a religion, it. like, well, this bread is the body of Christ. <laughs> this <laughs> alcohol insane. we're gonna give to your children is the blood of Christ. Like, get the fuck out of here. It's all so. Nice. I think that's what it is. I, I have kids, and and they're in Catholic school, and so like. Oh. I'm kind of so you're hearing a lot cult. of that. Well, <laughs> you're, 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 you're well yeah, that's the other thing. I'm, I'm screaming at the yeah, <laughs> screaming at the church, but I'm like paying tuition to the fucking I pay the for this system. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of how I think of it. Uh, I got yeah. We went on vacation. Uh, we went to Rome, went to the Vatican, and it, you know it's it's beautiful. It's still the construction of churches and cathedrals are just it's amazing architecture and it just the things done. Sure, there's heinous things done in the name of uh, worship, but there's also these beautiful things that mm-hmm. are done, and. 
were there, and it's it's just all gold and it's ornate, and you could tell it's just such a, just an expensive building. But each little station in St. Peter's Basilica still is like a tithing station. Yeah, like, pay, yeah, 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 give me money. And here. I, the first one, I saw, and it's everybody's hushed tones. The first one I saw, like, if you'd like to give somebody, I just went, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I started, I'm like, ooh, what? I'm like, no. no. Yeah, Absolutely this. not. Yeah. This Dude. money belongs to the kids that you touched. <laughs> so, Seriously. no, fuck off. For 100%. Real. When I went to, uh, I went to the Vatican as well. And I actually really liked it, but going in, I was I was like legitimately kind of scared, like <laughs> I was gonna walk into the Sistine Chapel and feel God. Yeah, and I was like, "Fuck! What if like I walk in this door and Born walk again? out a uh, whole new person?" Really? Luckily, I didn't feel it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you came back and you were like Sistine Chapel, no big deal. I no, think- I liked I liked the Vatican a lot. The, no, but yes, yes, Sistine right, Chapel. Yes. You were like, the I, I, don't, Chapel, I don't get I was, the hype. <laughs> well, when when you find out that it was. Leonardo da Vinci, right? Did we get that right? Yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. No, Michelangelo. Was it? I think it was Michelangelo. Yes, yes. Michelangelo. Yes, yes. All right, you agree with me first. So <laughs> I did. No, but you're it was, the it only one correct here. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But like, then you find out like he started painting the figures real small on one end, and then they're real big at the other end because he's like. I gotta wrap this shit up. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stretch out. Though I gotta start filling some that, space. That's like double spaces on your, like, on yeah, your exactly, paper in school. Exactly like this yeah. whole t- t- testament to the Lord and Savior is like, we can make a blood make it bigger. Stretch it out. That is that. funny to be like, like all right, like I've been here for a week and I'm like one eightieth done. Yeah, all right, yeah. we gotta, we gotta space this long here. We gotta wrap this up. Why did I choose mosaic? This is all so small. <laughs> I, I liked I liked when I was at the Vatican and it was kind of like I was they were teaching us about how like Michelangelo was really sought after by the Pope yeah. and by the Cardinals and stuff like that and then like basically whenever they gave him mm-hmm. any kind of command he'd be like Nah I'm not doing that yeah and I thought that was kind of cool how like even back then like you had your politicians but like culture was still kind of set by the artists yeah and like when yeah. He- that's why they're the bullies at your school bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you mean theater kids <laughs> but he painted he painted the, the wall behind the sistine chapel mm-hmm. not, not the ceiling and he made everyone naked yeah. and the car the pope was like you gotta cover that up and one of the cardinals was like you gotta fucking put clothes on all of them yeah and he was like oh word word okay i'll fix that <laughs> and then he he went in and he took the cardinal's face and he painted it on the devil and he went, I'm all done. And he didn't cover anything up. <laughs> <laughs> and they were just like, well, there's nothing we can do. They just, they just waited until he died. So now, now, now they have like little like flowing yeah, things over them. But like they have to wait till he died because he's like, don't touch it. Art's, <laughs> Art's pretty cool sometimes. <laughs> yep. 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 I remember I was at some, I forget what museum. I'm not like entrenched in art. I couldn't remember who painted the Sistine Ch- Chapel. But <laughs> there was some like photo series of this guy making this giant ornate wood sculpture, like bent, like steamed and pressed wood that's a curvature. And it's like two stories tall. And it's like little Polaroids of it. And then the Polaroids show him pulling it all apart. And he's like, nobody's ever seen this sculpture. I only have photos of it. I'm like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh man, that's awesome! <laughs> that you were cool. crazy. That is, that's truly crazy. <laughs> like this, this took me two years of my life, and nobody saw it. I'm like, this rules, <laughs> bro. When I saw, I saw the total opposite of that last night. This guy, his art was, um, it's this giant. Oh, is it? it did this it? is gonna be some New York story about a guy shitting into a construction cone or something. <laughs> this, this is it. It's a giant mud wheel and he just stands there and puts his face against it and this this sold yeah. I don't even know what that means <laughs> yeah. for 8 million dollars it means and, he tricked somebody uh, yeah well I, I, I or some you know rich person is evading taxes and like he, they, well, they tricked is, them that, you know? that is the big theory he, he about thinks it's, oh. he thinks it's so you know oh my god I can't believe I sold this for 8 million dollars meanwhile it's some Wall Street guy going Get the guy with the mud and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. hide the millions of dollars there. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is it? What? Well, that, okay. What is this? That's like sick. it's the it's the everybody says like, well, I could have done that. Yeah, but they did it first. Yeah. Right, so right, right. I just I, it, there's the no rotating saying- mud is his latest creation <laughs> and is a reflection on the transient nature of existence and the ever changing landscape of the human experience. Through the constant motion of the mud, the artwork embodies the passage of time, the fluidity of identity, and the cyclical nature of life. I, <laughs> Shut up. I mean, you can get that same feeling from watching a Euros, you know? (laughs) Come on. 
I saw. I was watching Schwerma, and I saw I got that same vibe off. <laughs> but that's. But that's what I think. I bet the artist like nobody says you can't laugh at a museum. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's instead true. of thinking it like, oh, it's pretentious. What if the art? Like I always think that sometimes the artist is hanging out in there too and watching people missing like trying to put more oh, on totally. the art yeah. and they're like we got another one yeah. <laughs> like, and they're losing their mind right what, what did this suckers. color represent or what did this thing it's like i don't yeah. know i just fucking picked it yeah, up yeah like that day. oh it represents that i think you're suckers <laughs> and I, you've proved me right so so uh you start you start cracking jokes to for like self-preservation yeah and then uh did you did you realize you were you were good at it and like let me turn this into something or how, how do you actually end up being in the comedy world? I, I think it was a lot of lack of other options going on. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, let's, let's go with yeah, let's go with our strongest mm -hmm. qualities. Are oh, some kids were good at math. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, man. It's uh, making people laugh. I'm yeah. like, I thought I was like, I'll be a writer. I'll go into. I'm like, I didn't. I never read. I wasn't sitting there like just devouring <laughs> books. Like, oh, hard this to be a writer if you don't read. <laughs> yeah, so you're take, a very good writer. <laughs> What have I written? I, I've read your foreword for. Oh, for old yeah, yeah. you guys had old Sammy T on there. Yeah. Man, that book pissed me off. Well, that's what I said in the title. Yeah. That book's so good. I'm like, yeah. you motherfucker. <laughs> that was a good one. You just been this doofus that's hanging out with us being funny, but then you wrote this beautiful novel. It's so God. he's really. I, I was how dare, guy. how dare you, Sam Taylor? <laughs> I, I like that. In the, I, I think in, in the board you had something like. Like someone who sleeps in bed next to me or in a bed next to me, like has no business writing this book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like it's at the same time we're like on the road, sharing hotel rooms and stuff. We're like what? I'm like I, I rode the back of a pickup truck to watch you go slow dance to some bluegrass band and terrify the residents of Columb Columbia, Missouri, one night. And now this is the manuscript you hand me. You, we walked into this bike. We were both drunk. He looked like a trained bear, and I was the, I was the handler. <laughs> Because people are like traditional, like, like do si do wear, and he's in his like athletic shorts, yep. looking just like the largest guy in a straight edge band. Yeah. And, he's like, and he's twirling ladies ever so delicately. I'm holding his backpack. All these guys in like nudie suits are looking at me like, the like fuck? He's, yeah. he's fine. <laughs> no, I mean, don't shout around him. He's, he's fine. And he's just twirling young ladies. <laughs> He'll be backpack full of snacks. I'll get him out of here if you need me to. But otherwise, he's real gentle. He's real gentle with the ladies. <laughs> yeah, you two are like of yeah. mice and men walking around. <laughs> yeah. And then he hands me that book. I'm like, all right, who really wrote this? <laughs> I, I, I was telling him that after I read it, I, uh, I recommended it to my aunt. And yeah. I just like it was one of those things where I just like I read it and I, I was like I really enjoyed this. My aunt, we, we talk about books sometimes. Like I'll recommend it to her, and just didn't even think about the content of it at all. And yeah. she's like, <laughs> she's like a little blue for me. And I was like, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about that. My yeah, bad. the Not entire book, blue, but still so beautifully written. Yeah, oh, hundred percent. And it's that. I mean, he's got away with words, you know. Well, and that's the thing. Like you could do any kind of comedy. You could do the filthiest comedy if you just want to crack open a thesaurus and. Dainty Dress it up, up a little yeah. bit. Like all of a sudden, like, well, you've heard that joke a thousand times, but right. not that way. Right, <laughs> right, so, right, right. But yeah, so I, I, so I went to college for writing, and then I'm like, oh, I'm just writing stand up bits that I'm now bringing to my, you know, literary 201 class, which in college is every. 20 year old trying to be an adult and trying to be the most serious version of themselves and like here's the goth kid that's transitioning into probably trying heroin and here's <laughs> new lesbians and here's everybody i'm yep. like man i went to this party and tony took his dick out but it was like really funny though like it wasn't creepy like, <laughs> i'm like oh yeah this is not uh, this is not for me and then uh, i met a guy there I wound up doing one comedy show, and I didn't know I didn't know how to do I didn't know how to start comedy, and I saw I had seen him at this open mic. He's oh yeah, there's open mics all over the city. This is the column in the Chicago Reader. You read this, come sign up, and so so once you I started doing you worked that, like the Chicago circuit coming up. Yeah, that's was that I started, yeah yeah is that a um, I feel like it's like New York and L A, but I feel like Chicago is a, a a good kind of under the radar comedy city there. I mean, it's not so. I mean, you had Second City, you had all that kind yeah, of yeah. like institutionalized stuff. I mean, so, so I was from there, but so you had a lot of people that were moving there because they wanted Second City and Improv Olympic and all these legendary spots. And then they kind of, it's a little bit of a pyramid scheme kind of thing. Like, well, four hundred dollars more, and you'll get even closer to SNL. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so people got jaded with that, 
and they wound up finding the stand-up scene. And the stand-up scene was made up of so many different, like nobody was going to be famous. So it was very pure in that sense. Like nobody was going to get famous doing stand-up in Chicago. You were just doing it because you were out of options and you just wanted to have some form of self-expression. There is something cool about that, yeah. It was very you're pure. Not, it's like, not a stepping stone. It's not no, a, a no, means we're to doing an end. This it's just, this is it. Life's probably not going to go anywhere. So <laughs> let me have... Well, the I mean, third most depressing thing well, I heard on the podcast it is, today. But the origin story of all it's like it is stand up in itself. Like now, now it's now now it's a different. Now to like animal. I hate to be like now with the old internet. Yeah, you know, yeah if you yeah, heard yeah, of this yeah, thing, yeah. right? But now you can be be wherever you're from and garner a following. Dude, in, in a way, it's it's similar to that 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 uh, artist you just talked about. Like yeah. working on a sculpture that like nobody saw. It, like you you're doing. You might have this set that like kills, but you're just doing it in front of like 50 people yeah. and. And, and now it's a totally different thing, but at at one point it really was like I I just like doing it. That's I, I, I'm about to say the name of the whole network like Barstool Sports. It, it's it was pub sports. It was like oh this guy's mm-hmm. really good at pool, mm-hmm. but great. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah, yeah you're yeah. the king of Tuesday night. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Maybe yeah. one guy out of ten cities in, a, in an area is good enough at pool that he gets to some kind of contest. And <laughs> Maybe that contest is now in the tournament in Vegas once yeah. every five years, and they gets a spot on TV when there's a rain delay during fucking <laughs> frisbee golf or whatever. Yeah. They're airing. So the that Black was all the sick. yeah, that was all the expectations of it. You just wanted to be good because you wanted to impress the other people that were also good. Mm-hmm. But it had so many weirdos that like there was this big kind of poetry spoken word scene in Chicago. But they took themselves very seriously because I thought maybe I'd check that out. I'm like these guys aren't any fun, and nothing Here, has happened to me sad enough <laughs> to make me a poet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the the kind of the ones that were too silly for that found stand up. So mm-hmm. then they were mixing in, and then you had just fun dudes in bands that were like oh man nobody lets me talk between songs and they're like more boisterous and so then they'd wind up there and there was this really great mix of unlikely dudes hanging out did you stay in chicago the whole time did you ever do no uh, i was there for four years i mean i'm from there but so i i, I performed there for four years 99 2003 i moved to la, LA. and i was there till 2020 i moved to portland so oh wow yeah shit do you yeah. like la i feel like you're not an la guy I do. I do. Everything like you just it. described is not really an LA. No, LA it's guy. it's it's. I like. I mean, I I gotta give it some respect that you know it gave me the career. I moved there to be a stand up. I moved there to get credits mm-hmm. to go do stand up. I didn't go there to try and find something else. The mm-hmm. other things would only like. Oh, cool! Now I can do more stand up. Or now you I didn't can consider New York. When I man, when I was like twenty one and coming out here, I I loved it. But I knew if I was gonna move. <laughs> that that would all sounds real sad. If I was gonna move to do something stupid like pursue stand up comedy at at twenty six is when I left. Mm-hmm. Like, if I'm gonna go and fuck up my life, I'm gonna do, do it, it on the West where Coast. I'm not. I'm also not seasonally depressed. Yeah. Like, if I'm already fair gonna, point. Fair point. I'll probably be actually depressed. Regular depressed. Yeah. That, it's hard to be sad at the beach, man. <laughs> you look yeah, like a true, loser dude. crying under palm trees. So. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I, when I moved there, I'm like, oh, that city saved my life because the bars closed at two. You couldn't smoke inside. I'm like, yeah. and I hated it when I moved there. New York, go home. You don't ever have to go home. <laughs> smoke all the cigarettes you can smoke. I would have been dead in four years. I think <laughs> if I moved here. That is true. And then uh, you linked up with our boy Shane, huh? Who? Shane, Shane uh, Torres? Shane Torres? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I knew Shane when I started going to Portland. Mm-hmm. And Shane was there. And Shane was always the scariest. Shane's obviously a sweetheart, and he's the scariest. He was the scariest looking dude. He does look scary. Because he's got those icy blue eyes. Yeah. He had the long hair and he'd mm-hmm. be in the green room. Just looks like a guy who you don't want to fuck with. And then he's, you know. And he's still a guy you don't want to fuck no, with. He's still but, like but, but secretly when... a boxer. That he'd kick the shit out <laughs> but of he'll you. also, you know, talk to you. Yeah, you know, but you know, you can tickle bear. him in defense. <laughs> yeah. And, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, right. so I started, I started meeting him through there and then. And then we hit it off. That's I, my, I started falling in love with Portland, just going there, doing shows, mm-hmm. and all the comics out of that scene. Like Matt Bronger is a guy I met him in Chicago. He's originally from Portland, but guys like Ian Carmel and Sean Jordan and and, and Shane Torres, all, all these guys uh, that had this, these Portland roots. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, old Sugar Shane, <laughs> old, old sweetie Sugar we, Shane. We did. We we went to uh, Amsterdam with him. He was oh really Bert, Bert Kreischer when when he was on tour. Oh, flew you did us the out. European. Yeah, we were. How was uh, that? <laughs> it was. It was something. I mean, Sh- Shane was. Shane can go, man. He can. They, they, we were there yeah. for a couple nights, and and 
I'm, you know, I'm, I'm well past my partying prime. So I was like yeah. nervous to go out there and really, you know, tear it up with those guys. And sh- I mean, Shane would be one more, one more, one more. I was like, do I gotta go to bed. <laughs> do you have like, do you have the ability in you now to go like, all right, we've reached terminal velocity of how much fun and drinks we're going to have. Like, can, well, can you recognize the precipice of like, that's what I was trying to do. Things will happen right now. And I don't want those stories anymore. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do. And Shane was like, another one, another one. I was like, we don't need anymore. We've, we've been out here for 15 hours. We don't, started at 11 a.m. Don't drag me down with you, you goddamn yeah. anchor. <laughs> no, I very much, I think I maybe even started to see that early. Like, I don't know. I, we, you know, I just started drinking and going to bars and partying and stuff when we were pretty young and like 15 16 years old and then did it for a long time and by the time i was like 30 yeah. i was like i've done well, i don't know we've done all this shit and I, but I, nothing That's, crazy it's not like i'm some rock star it was like you know mainlining jack daniels or something but it was just like i yeah. don't know we have I've been in a million bars like this and had a million beers like this and i know how this ends and <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of refreshing to go like i think i got as much as i can out of that mm-hmm. like i squeezed all the juice out yeah. of it and like yeah uh, like, like you, you know what, you know what's fucking crazy a great night's sleep yeah <laughs> when's the last time God. you had one of those dude Bro. when's the last time you crushed eight hours <laughs> dude that was like we, we did the show before you came in today and i yeah. was like i was like last night i slept with mouth tape on breathe through my nose the whole night i was like it's the greatest night <laughs> all right this is the second time somebody brought up mouth tape if you, if you haven't tried it brother do you, do you like have trouble sleeping? As many days. If you cover your mouth yeah. and you breathe through your nose, you will you will experience. But the reason I can't, I'm like, yeah. this is like, <laughs> oh well, you this know. is a hundred percent for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I got. You is, tape up your mouth, you might die. Is you, rush you might. hour in your tunnel here is the best option I got. <laughs> tape up my mouth. It's like he wanted to die. <laughs> this is the weirdest that suicide is true. we've ever seen. Uh, when, when that came about, I remember thinking there probably are a lot of people out there who should not do this. <laughs> yeah. But if you can do it. It'll change your life. If you can't do it, it'll end your life. Yeah, this looks like some sort of like Heaven's Gate protest. <laughs> like you passed away with tape over, with like no hate written on my cheek or something. Like what a weird. He never even talked about that when he was alive. But man, standing for something when he's passing. <laughs> when uh, so the what's the name of the podcast? Uh, no, uh, no accounting, no for accounting taste. for That's taste. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like you're kind of picking like individual things like the i was listening to the parody music episode and the star trek episode is it is it is that the idea behind it or it was just we were talking about like how much like so much comedy comes from like hey you ever see this thing it's stupid look at that it's (laughs) like and it's like that's such the easy route again like i'm talking about complaining about something complaining is like a very easy so it's a universal language brother and it it is but it's also i mean it's also kind of exhausting Mm mm-hmm you know, especially if you don't have somebody that you know, like, is to keep the comedy in it, it's just like, this sucks, that sucks, that's yeah. lame. Like, well, yeah. you're great to hang out with. Never <laughs> yeah, call yeah, me yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're like, oh, it'd be a lot harder to take these things and really force ourselves, like, hold on. Let's, like, let's see if we could celebrate them. Cause that's been, like, one of my writing exercises with stand ups. It's like, if, 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 my, if my reaction to something is immediately, like, that's dumb, I'm like, well, why? Interesting. Is it dumb because it's dumb? Is it dumb because I don't you understand don't like it? it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well, why yeah. don't. What if I took the time to understand it? Sure. Oh, maybe now I got to change my view. Oh, <laughs> this is tough. But I like that that's a, a, like a growth aspect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so we've had, there's been a couple we've been stumped on. We're like, no, nah, this is entirely dog shit. Like, <laughs> well, but, but then you know. Yeah. Then you know, you a, check the box. Like, I fucking try. It's not for me. See you later. <laughs> things what, what, what do you think is the worst? Uh, we try to do the Kardashians. Mm-hmm. And it was, su- was going to be such an easy thing. But like, no, there's got to be. Something in there, like, well, Kim Kardashian got like that one lady pardoned or something once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if that makes up for <laughs> everything else. I'm mean, sure that one lady would probably say, like, oh, these, are these, are these are angels that walk the earth. These are just <laughs> fake ass angels that roam amongst us. But everything else is like, oh, you're just, uh, just. Uh, just a capitalism bulldozer that's hoard out every sense of being a human being for profit <laughs> by your own mother. Like this is, this is medievally. Like oh, really? your own mom was like, no, put, release the porn. Yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. That is one that like I. There was a time where I would get like actually angry, where I was like, yeah, like, and then I kind of went through a similar thing where I was like, I'm gonna like, there's gotta be something I'm missing. 
and I didn't yeah. make it a commercial break. I was like, this is insufferable. Mm-hmm. How, but like, I don't really like reality TV. Like, that's not like my it's, thing. But, I like, mean, that, so many people do. That's what's crazy. It it was, you it's think acknowledging the norm would that be. Some, because something isn't your thing doesn't mean it's bad. Right. Yeah. Or because it's bad. We're not it's like, popular. Or you know not what I mean? popular. Because it, it can be objectively like crappy. Yeah. But a lot of fucking people like crappy shit, you know? Man, I, I, I had to level it out. I had an old roommate who was like a real movie snob. And he, like, the kind of, he would watch like Barry Lyndon. Like every week, which is like a three hour Stanley Kubrick. I couldn't watch it. Mm-hmm. He'd watch it every week and he'd get furious that, like, oh man, I can't believe like Transformers is number one at the box office. This shows that this shows that people are stupid because Transformers is number one at the box office. I'm like, you eat Carl's Jr. three times a week. <laughs> and I bet there's a chef out there Hell right yeah. now going, like, that's why right. people are stupid because you could get healthy food for this. It's like, oh, it's all perspective. It's what, what are you using that form? I don't know if, if you're looking at reality TV and going, one day I'll be like that. And we're like, then that's an illness. But if you're like, this is noise that makes me worry about, about my, my other problems shit. Yeah. less. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Then all for right, sure. it's weird that you've made billionaires <laughs> out of these. Yeah, they turn. They turn. In, <laughs> but, yeah, they turn into like you know people like worship them. That's a little weird. But yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't know how you spend that money when you're just a ghoul. But, <laughs> but it, apparently, it's distracted a lot of people from their real issues, and so maybe that is worth the price that they've been paid. Well, in the eye of the beholder, right? Yeah. You uh, I, I'm gonna preface this by saying I'm 90 percent sure it was you, but I saw an Instagram reel once, and I believe it was you who you were talking about how. Like every comedian who is high and mighty mm-hmm. should shut up because they're not the funniest of their friend groups. Yeah, I thought that was like the smartest, coolest like thing oh. ever. Where it was like, like you're right. Like we always thought that. Like I am far from, and this won't be a surprise to you, but like far from the funny person in my friend group. Like, oh yeah, they're... I'm a total fraud. <laughs> <laughs> no, a, but a total it, fraud. well, you're just the one that's willing to do it for a living or Again, put the time it, in yeah, or whatever. What, yeah. You know what I mean? How am I? Did I? Am I the one that believed in myself? <laughs> yeah, that right. can't be right. right. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be it. <laughs> not a chance. Boy, that's uh, true. Uh, uh, yeah, if that, that's a sorry <laughs> state of affairs for my friends. Then, if, if I'm the you one, got a doctor that... degree, you're funnier than me. I'm the one who went for it. Come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I have friends. I tell all the time that when when we when we started to get momentum here, I remember telling a couple of my friends like. I don't know. I can't get you a job, but like, give it a shot and yeah. do what you do and do your thing. And and they never did it. And now they're always like, uh, I'm funnier than this person. I'm funnier than that person. I'm like, you are. You are. But they do it. They're the ones that it's, did it. It's back to the art thing. Yeah. Yeah. But they yeah. did it. Right. Yeah. Right. I could do that, but you didn't. Right. <laughs> it's, did. it's And there's something to be said for like being funny, but like being able to do do funny you know what i mean it's, like it's a sk- it's a skill to be able to translate it from your friends into strangers yeah, yeah. right and it's, right, it, right it is this weird mix of believing in yourself enough that like oh I, I have to like i have to get strangers to like me i don't like strangers <laughs> but i need them to like me and like it, there there is a, a you know other components at work but as far as the initial hanging out being at a party like i look back i still cringe at all the day the the times where I really thought that I was going to be a comedian, I thought I was the funniest. I was just the loudest. I was the mm-hmm. drunkest and the loudest. Yeah. Yep, yep, like, yep, oh, yep. they're all paying attention to me. Yeah, you're not giving them another choice. You're <laughs> screaming at this party. <laughs> you are a drunk, they're, yeah. screaming man. <laughs> they're thinking There's that, no option. They're laughing at you, not with you. Yeah. And they're thinking if they do that, you'll stop at some point. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, Too bad. You're feeding the geese. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now, and now to go back, like, now I'm off stage, and I'm like, I just want to like, okay, oh, that. thank you very much. That was an hour of your time you gave me i don't want to be funny at all yeah <laughs> yeah, to, yeah now yeah, you bro. tell me stories yeah. now i'd like to hear your stories Dude, well I, I mean i it's it's a little more talking with us like not just being yeah. funny because we talk so much i go home and i'm like silent i'm like yeah. i don't want to talk the phone rings i'm like I, i'll talk to my mom but like anybody else i'm like i don't know text me i'll talk later i but, just talk for 12 uh, hours i mean hasn't that the, hasn't the prevalence of podcasts been like oh well these are the four funny dudes hanging out and now it's now it's public. Now you're, you've turned it into the same thing. Yeah, oh, the yeah. same thing as stand up is like, oh, yep. podcasts are like, I feel like I'm hanging out with my friends. Yep. But they're funnier than my friends. <laughs> like, okay, sorry, you don't have friends. That buy. I'm lucky that my friends are all really hilarious. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like, a, if this is special to you. Yeah. Ah, it sucks because this is that, like this is every conversation I've ever had. That makes That's why I mean weird. it comes yeah. easy because it's like I don't know. I've done this off a mic a thousand times. I can do it on a mic a thousand times too because we're does, just. Does the parasocial relationship thing ever bother you guys? Like, like 
I would get that where I'm like, I realized like I had another podcast called the Boogie Monster, which is me and my buddy <clears throat> for six years, just kicking it. We kind of had a theme at first, but then you would meet people and you forget that they're listening to you every week. And you're now I got too comfortable. I was too comfortable talking about my personal life. Oh yeah. And I didn't like that. Cause then you'd see somebody on the street. They'd be like, "Hey, how's so and so?" They know all your business. You know? like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I offered that up, but yeah. now I'm creeped out. Well, because I, that I, information's been retained by strangers. Yeah, I look at it both ways. I, I've seen it. Uh, there are times where I say, like, you know, we have given like 99 percent yeah. of all of our information out there. Can we have the one percent? You know, like. Yeah. But then I also understand people being like. You give us everything, like you know, why? Why would that be? All of a sudden, we draw the line here, you know. So well, I, I can find understand. With, yeah, shows that I listen to where I'm like, oh, if I saw him live, I'd be, I'd, I'd just go, hey man, I remember that time? You totally. Said I'd become that the thing Punisher you're, you're always, fan, yeah. and I've I've seen it with musicians more, you know, where they're, they're called Punishers. It's like people like you've done music to connect to people, and then you have, but you got people that are on the outskirts. I, mean, I think it's awesome when like the stand up people are like that got me through a real tough time like you don't realize that just doing this shit you were gonna do anyway yeah got somebody who was just sitting there feeling real alone like oh somebody said something similar but now i'm a weirdo now i don't i don't know how to hang out like, <laughs> yeah. okay. so, i guess yeah shit man make some friends dude <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah that is the uh it, it's always the best thing to hear like after yeah. the show where it's like exactly what you're saying where it's like yeah you got me through tough times and then but there's also part of me where i'm like fuck <laughs> like, am I responsible for you forever now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I say my address? <laughs> <laughs> I did get one piece of mail sent to me once, and it was like, "There's no way anybody should have known." That's weird. Where I live right now, and it was somebody like it was a picture of me. Like, could you sign this and send it back to me? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like I got so uncomfortable with that. I think that started like that was one of the starts, and I'm not like. Famous by any means, but just even that little inkling, I wonder how people manage it that yeah. are so mm -hmm. prevalent and so out there with not even actors, but like their personal life is mm -hmm. their success. Right. Yeah. That, that, that's, I, I would have a very different. If you're going to go full that. Kardashian with yeah. it and, and market Listen, every waking moment. If there's a billion dollars under. attached to it, I might give it a whirl. I'll give it a try. You probably, I, I had a friend once mail me. I don't. I forget exactly what it was. It was like a, maybe it was a toothbrush shaped like a dick. I don't know, it was something phallic, <laughs> yeah. whatever. And, and, yeah, no. and, and like, I I've had someone like find my address and like do all that shit. And so like, I was just like, I'll throw it away right away, and yeah. I'll never mention this to anybody. And uh -huh. maybe this will stop. And like three months later, my friend's like, "Yo, did you ever get that cock toothbrush?" I'm like, dude, that was you. Like, I was like, I've been scared for three fucking months. I'm like, Who has my goddamn address? I did that years and years ago. I was like on the road. I was newly single, and I was like, I, I met a gal after a show, and. She, and she texted me, she's like, come over and stuff. I'm like, oh, I wasn't ready that night. But then the next night I was out and I got a, a voicemail, like a, a dirty voicemail from, uh, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, all right. And I started texting dirty things back to the that girl. And I, I like, oh, she already left me a dirty voicemail. And then I texted something. I didn't hear anything. I'm like, all right, I guess nothing there. And then the day after, my buddy Paul, he's like, Hey man, did you get that voicemail? <laughs> oh. I, was in, I was in a limo with these girls. I knew you were in town, so I had them give you a call. I'm like, I God just sent absolute it. filth <laughs> to just a, a woman who the night before was like, maybe we could hang out sometime. I'm like, I'm gonna blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh God damn it! I'm never gonna do anything ever again. <laughs> I was gonna again. say that would I would never leave the house again. <laughs> yeah, on that that's one. Just like, you did what? It's like, yeah, I was in a limo with some playmates. I had this weird gig in Tampa. I saw you here. I figured we'd give you a call. <laughs> I think I committed a crime. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a girl in high school once asked to borrow my phone. She went to the bathroom. She never. Came back, and she had, I didn't realize it until later when I got a phone call, she had recorded my voicemail, my uh, ringtone Yeah. to her just moaning. Oh. So like when I got a oh, call oh like when you got later, a call she was just like ah, ah. that's a pretty cool move uh, it's yeah. pretty funny. It's pretty funny. I think I like her yeah well, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good I think joke. I would have loved that that's a good no. joke I think, yo, yo, yo call me later I'll be alone Dude, I I I had that for quite because she was like a senior I was like a sophomore and like I remember 
I was like, I'm going to change my ringtone, but I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> that's staying on my phone. Yeah, you start just that's trying to flip the other way. Here's what it sounds like when she had sex. I got it, guys. <laughs> Flipping it back on you. No, when she's fucking the other seniors, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> I am so glad I didn't have a phone in high school. Oh, my God. The, this, the fact that technology to be act, to access it as a, like a 14 year old. What? Dude, you know what I, I did with it? I, I actually, I remember sending my first ever dick pic. Oh my God. I was, I had a Kyocera, like it was like a rotating, it rotated instead of like slid. <laughs> and I remember I sent like, it's, it's, Definitely child porn. Like I, I, I sent it to a girl my age, but I was definitely like fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> like oh god, <laughs> oh my god. Who amongst us hasn't engaged in child porn? <laughs> Me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I burnt that computer that I had. Sp- <laughs> whatever that was, LimeWire on. So yeah. <laughs> um. Stuff, but what was you say? But what I ended up doing with it? What you were saying is you sent your fifteen-year-old penis around. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Let me remind you. No hair on it, no nothing. Oh, stop describing it. <laughs> that audio's already made it into servers <laughs> that are on a boat somewhere out in, <laughs> out in, a, out in a but, bay uh, of South America. <laughs> the um, I just put it in a microwave. That, that was like the big... <laughs> Bro. What are you, Jason Bourne after you get an encrypted message? <laughs> this will self destruct in 10 seconds. That's it, great. It, it Every 20 it minutes because... in the wire, you just got to crack it in half. <laughs> I need a new one. I need a new burner. It, it wasn't because of that, but it was like, it was probably around the same time. I was just like, what do you think happens if you put a phone in the microwave? And everyone's like, I don't know, let's find out. And I just put it in there, put it on for like one second. A blue bolt of lightning hit it, and I was like, <laughs> We're done. Right, there it is. <laughs> Take care of that problem. I'm no longer a felon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got to go on a list now. Awesome. <laughs> Till I get my next phone and make the same mistake. Yeah. My horny teenage now mind. Now I got a Motorola Razor. This is clear. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the cloud? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh. All right, brother. Well, we appreciate coming through. So you got the, the podcast with Shane. Um, are you got dates coming up? You got anything okay, else you got plug? a new special that just came out today. Called oh, beautiful! Dirt nap. It's on eight hundred pound gorilla Google. media. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, so that's uh, that's my new offering in the world. It's my new. That's my new cup of water I'm throwing in the volcano <laughs> of stand up comedy. Right? Bro, it is. Uh, Now's no, the time, I'm, right? I'm proud of it, and that's out there. I do no accounting for taste with Shane. And I just I just do stand up. Amen. That's what I do. I'm out. If I'm not in your city this year, give me next year. I'll get there. Cool. <laughs> so, All yeah. right, so go check it out. Uh, 800 Pound Gorilla has has the, the yeah, video. Yeah, 800 Pound Gorilla Media is where it's at, and uh, it'll be for free on YouTube. It's 10 bucks now, free on YouTube in a month. So Beautiful. If you like Good commercials stuff, and saving 10 bucks, you see it on YouTube. <laughs> 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 not how I intended it to be viewed, but. You know. yeah. Amen. All yeah. right, dude. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Thanks you guys. I appreciate it. It's fun. fun. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Click that button. Or I'll cut off my finger.